Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the game. So, anybody want to go over where we're at and what's happening right now? We're in the fucking shit. Yellow factory? The Vault of Vecna. All right. Fuck it. That's roll, every, everybody just roll your initiatives. Cube. I'm not saying Ash wants to take a bite of the big jello cube, but I'm also not saying that she won't. Interesting. Nice. Interesting idea. I hope that goes well for you. Well, Spoonbreaker, looks like you're up first. It's your massive fucking initiative. Not the only thing. Oh, are, are your characters titties big too? Is is that what you're saying? Yeah, you're no. a lady. Be respectful. Can uh can can I get some uh some description of what I'm fucking looking at? Yeah. Um this is a pretty common monster. Uh these are gelatinous cubes. Um I'm not even gonna make you roll for it. Uh Basically, these things are big cubes of jelly. Um, inside, you can definitely see uh, things that are floating in them. Um, however, the bones that are in them are so very, very clean. Not a bit of meat left on them. No discoloration. The bones are... Normal bones, you know, are, are normally not actually white. However, these ones inside it are so very white. <clears throat> they had dropped from the ceiling, and they are all starting to converge together. All right. Uh, sorry, because I'm first. Just give me a second. Yes, and to be fair, um, so you are aware, um, it fills the entire entrance on either side. So although the token itself is circular, this creature is cubed. So you cannot get past it going right or left. It is a whole ass cube. I don't know, it looks two-dimensional. Oh, I'm going to start out with baby stuff and shock and grasp him. Oh, yeah? I see, I see. One sec. Your lightning damage seems to not affect it whatsoever. Bonus action or movement? So my spell didn't land. Oh no, you hit. You touched it. In fact, uh, since you have to touch it, Roll me 3d6. You take 14 acid damage. You raise your hand and use your uh shocking grasp to try and deal some lightning damage to it 
Uh, the lightning seems to be absorbed into this creature. However, as you touch it, the palm of your hand begins to burn away, the flesh melting. Smells like rabbit. I smell pretty good. Ash is getting hungry. <laughs> well, I'm going to... Uh... Fuck, I can't remember what it's called. Ah, Wrath of the Storm. That is my movement, right? Wrath of the Storm? What? Is that not my movement after I use a spell? No, that is not. That is the spell itself. Uh, Sorry. All good. No worries. Tempestuous magic, that's what it was. Oh, so you fly up to ten feet away without attack of opportunity, yeah? Yes, sir. Sure. And then I'll use my movement to back up. Sure. And I'll let the party know not to fucking touch it with their hands. Sulamine. I'm scarred. I'm going to touch it with an arrow. A fire arrow. Or try anyway. Uh, that is a hit. Your sneak attack, that does the same type of damage as your uh, ah, weapon, right? Shit. Never mind, never mind. The sneak attack's got to come off because um, cause Spoonbreaker moved away. My yeah, I, I don't think it's going to matter. But uh, it do it deals the same uh, type of damage as your weapon, it would. correct? Yeah, it would. Yeah, so as your arrow sinks in, it seems to have uh, yeah, no effect. Uh, however, you do notice a little bit of, oh, fuck. You do poison an acid, huh? Yeah. I thought it was cold. Uh, the arrow sinks in and begins to sizzle. This one, I'm going to need a perception check. Okay. This one's not as obvious. One sec loading, sorry. And which one were you attacking, by the way? The one to the north. One to the north, okay. Your arrow seems to have absolutely zero effect on this creature. The piercing, the poison, or the acid. Fire didn't do any good either. The fire? Yeah, I used a fire arrow. Um, the fire seems to have affected it very, very slightly. Fuck. How tall is the building? Is or the uh, hallway? Is it as tall as the cube? It is. The cubes fill the entire hallway. Fuck. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna move forward. And use a second attack. I think use my bonus action to split the thing into uh, the uh, sickles. Okay. And then I'm going to hit it with the uh, melee thingy jigger. Or not. Yeah, no. Unfortunately, uh, I'm, I'm honestly going to say that because it's so big, it's impossible to miss. So you definitely hit it. That's what she said. Wow. <laughs> However, guess what? What? As you slice through, hole or the cut in it seals right back up.
Well, shit. I wasn't kidding. I homebrewed the fuck out of these cubes. Jesus Christ, dude. Is there a way to kill them? Oh, there's definitely a way. Definitely a way. Okay. Um... You guys just ain't found it yet. Obviously, well, I'm going to incur my opportunity attack and move away. It makes no attack. Well, that's freaky. I got nothing else. I, all I can do is poker slash. Ash. Ash is freaking out and doesn't understand why the Jello is attacking us. <laughs> um, yeah. Ash will never look at Jello the same way. Exactly right. Especially the green kind. Um. <coughs> well, what is Ash gonna do? I'm gonna throw a javelin at the one on the left. Yes. The javelin sinks in. The javelin begins to be disintegrated as the acid forming this creature eats away at it. Um, I am going to activate my aura and give uh, Spoonbreaker and myself 15 temporary hit points. Moonbreaker, you have 15 temporary hit points. And can I get a strength check for from the one on the right? Because he's in my bubble. Um, DC was a 18. Eighteen, you said? Yes, please. You see frost form over it. Um it's still trying to move forward, but for the moment it does seem to be frozen to the ground. Jesus. Is that it for you, or are you going to move? Sorry about that. Uh, I will take one step this way. And uh, yeah, that's that's me, Richter. Sorry, I'm not casting that. I rested my book on my thing. Uh, Richter is going to see this thing advancing forward, and um, I'm gonna cast a ray of frost. Hey. Make your attack. That is a hit. Uh, roll me a perception. By the way, nice roll for the damage. Yes. Uh, the frost seems to, uh, or sorry, the ray of frost hits the uh, hits the hits it on your side, and that entire area kind of starts to. Um, solidify slightly however it didn't do as much as you expected it to uh richter is going to send a moat of crown of stars right after he uses the ray of frost so um uh, one spell attack as well with a uh, crown of stars moat okay trying to kind of hit it right after it freezes Uh, hold on, I don't think I rolled my extra damage for that one. No, I did. All right.
Let's see. Wow, it's actually a pretty good hit. That seemed to affect it, though. Um, as this moat flies forward, uh, it caught you the cube where it hits begins to then sizzle. Mm, the light burns them. Ray, uh, Richter says as he backs up a little bit and postures up next to Phoenix. That's me. Phoenix. Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix is going to use all of his tabaxi movement to run. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I got to fuck him up. Get ready to roll me some damage dice, because I'm going to eat it. Oh, I'm letting you roll your own damage dice, sir. 3d6 for every hit that hits. 1, 2... Are you using your Floria Blows? Uno momento. Crap, hang on, I'm sorry, I'm just looking for something. I thought I had a disengage option, same as the uh, rogue. Should, I think. Yeah, I'm just looking for it. I guess one key point. I think it is too, but I want to confirm I have it before I just use it. Yes, okay. One key point. Yeah, yep, yeah, step yeah. of the wind. Did you figure that out when I opened it? What? No, I... I, <laughs> I assumed I, you were looking at my sheet. <laughs> no, I wasn't on your sheet. I was on the uh, monk in the compendium. Oh, uh, okay. If, so, yeah, if your I sheet was... was jumping all over, that wasn't me. <laughs> no, I opened it, and then right away you were like, ah, step of the wind. I was oh, like, well, okay. fuck you, man. I found it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so those are all hits. Roll me a perception and, uh, I guess, 12d6. 12, 6? What? I thought you said it was 3d6 per hit. Yeah, and you hit four times. I only hit him twice. I didn't oh, use sorry, blows. my bad. Yep, nope, you're, you're right. You're trying to murder me. <laughs> 66. And a perception. Your punches seem to have done nothing. They seem to have, the, the fire damage didn't do anything, it just fizzled out. Your punches itself. The fire damage, however, uh, it didn't do as much as you expected. And I'm assuming you got, like, up here to actually hit him before you disengaged, right? Yeah. All right. I was up in his business. So let's see. Fire damage. That is six. Yeah, it's uh it's it's still ready to go. Uh when you hit it, <clears throat> excuse me, the entire form kind of jiggles like you would expect. Um, but the bludgeoning didn't really seem to do anything. Um, you do see little scorch marks that quickly are um disappear as the acid inside this cube kind of swirls back and forth mixing it all together I will relay that information so that you guys are all aware um, anybody in between the gelatinous cubes can hear, hear each other anybody outside of the area of the gelatinous cubes cannot hear inside and vice versa I will relay that information telepathically. There you go. 
Uh, I I'll believe... respond as well. May I respond? Uh, yes. <clears throat> I'll respond as well, saying the radiant damage was effective. So fire and radiant. Uh, let's see. As it moves forward, Wabu and Sulamine, you can both make dexterity saves, please. DC is 19. Wow. As it moves forward, you both are able to jump out of the way. Um, however, you are still quite close. And as it moves, and you are, and you guys get out of the way. I want Wabu to roll me a D three, please. One is Sulamine, two is Spoonbreaker, and one is Wabu. One is Sulamine. Cool. Uh, does a seventeen hit you? sir no didn't think so uh you see like <clears throat> almost like an arm kind of shoot out in your uh your direction too i mean you kind of sidestep it and like you almost matrix this thing as you know the it pops past your face and then zips right back into the gelatinous cube wabu you're up Um, okay. How tall are these things, by the way, and how tall is the ceiling? Uh, let me see. I've got to sit my notes. <laughs> Snow. Uh, these ceilings are 15 feet high. And it follows the same shape as the stairs. So if the stairs go down, so does the ceiling. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. Understood. And how tall is the cube? 15 feet. It fills left to right, bottom to top. Okay. Yeah, I know we talked about left to right, but I didn't hear the bottom to top part. Yep, bottom to top as well. It fills the entire hallway. That's why it's a trap. <laughs> yeah. Um, which way did we come in from, or like, how did we get down here? North. I wasn't here last session, right? So, uh, you guys came in from the north. Uh, you guys yeah. passed through a large skull archway, um, that basically laughed when you entered. It gave you a warning, and uh, yeah, you guys went through anyways. And Ash triggered a trap. Sulamin had found it, and he was able to disarm one part of it, but he didn't notice there was more parts, and Ash walked into the area and triggered the trap. Okay, and then, um, got it, understood. Do we know what way we're trying to go or not? Uh, at the moment, I don't think anybody has specified. They were just headed down this way, and uh, the trap went from basically the purple area, I don't know if can anybody else see that big purple area on the map? Negative. I, I can't. Okay, so that's nope. just Richter. What do you mean you can't, Richter? You saw you you made it. I already deleted it. Oh. I don't even know. I was just uh, trying to measure when I made that. Oh, okay. Uh, but basically, it goes. I don't think Wabu can probably see it, but from this corner all the way to the end of this side. And it goes down to these stairs and starts at the, right here. At that, uh, basically the end of, uh, right at the corners. Okay, and what is that thing? Uh, that That's where the traps were. Oh, the traps were, okay, yeah. understood. Which opened a uh, four holes in the ceiling which immediately dropped out four gelatinous cubes that filled the entire hallway. And they uh, it looks like they are converging towards the center. 
Okay. And um, one last question. Sorry. Uh, which uh, cube, or maybe I just can't see it here. I'm going to start by moving 10 feet. 5, 10. Okay. And which, oh, there, there. Um, okay. 15, 20, 25, 30. Can I move to here? 30 feet? Uh, yeah. Uh, and then can I cast plane shift on the cube in front of me? Damn. Uh, post it for me. Okay, so you and up to eight willing creatures. No, the other part. The other part. I'm using it offensively on the uh, unwilling creature. Uh, uh, use a spell to banish an unwilling creature to another plane. Use a creature within your reach. Make a melee spell attack against it. On a hit, creature must make a charisma saving throw. Sure. I'm sure they're very charismatic. Um, what do I do for a melee I'd spell attack? I have not done that before. Uh, it would doesn't be... have a button, to... or do I just cast plane shift? I mean, if if you have that in your attacks, then yes. Um, otherwise, um, no, it's not. I don't. It's D twenty so. plus your spell attack mod, which is at the top of your spell sheet, and just roll it auto or uh, manually. Uh, sorry. So my spell attack bonus is sixteen. Okay. So D20 right, so plus then... 16. All right. Also roll yourself 3D6. Twenty-eight. And then 3D6. Yep. 10. Yeah, so did the 28 hit? Oh, yeah, it hit. Okay, and then the uh, plane of existence is going to be uh, the ice realm. Ice elemental realm. Or actually radiant elemental realm, just in case. So the plane of uh, en of good energy. Is that what it's called? Yeah, no, plane, what... plane of energy. Yeah, sure, plane of energy. Sorry, I don't know the... I'm not very good with the names of that stuff yet. That is fair. I mean, most people don't know about that plane, so... Um, and then I'm going to call to the rest of the group and be like, let's, let's try to run through the, down the stairs and ignore the, the trap. And then I am going to use my bonus action to use my, uh, fey feature to cast, um, Misty Step. Okay. Once per day for 30 feet forward. Yeah. And that is my turn. I feel in trouble. This one uh, gets closer to you, Ash. And a little pseudopod shoots out from it. 31 hit. Oh, yeah. 19 acid damage as it grabs you drags you inside of it acid is different than poison right it is yes it is yeah, okay and repeat that one more time how much damage 19 okay uh I'm not allowed resisting to be sucked in. Nope. There's no there's no throw or anything. He nope. Just in. Brutal. Yup. In this place, the Jello eats you. I was gonna I was gonna say, do I get a description of what it feels like to be on it, the inside of the Jello plane? Oh, you sure will. I'm just reading the rest of this ability. <laughs> Okay, no worries. Alright, so... Oh, by the way, I was wrong. It was a 16 dexterity save, so, I mean, it didn't affect anything. You guys passed either way. 
but yeah. It's a 16 dexterity save, not 19. My bad. Um, however, as Ash, you get dragged in. You splash into this thing. It it pulls you in so quickly, it lifts you right off your feet. Um, as you slam into this thing, immediately your flesh begins to melt. Hot. Right. Wow, it's a shit roll. You got lucky. Another 16 acid damage as your flesh begins to melt. Uh, that one is frozen in place, what, till the end of your turn? Yes, till the end of my turn, yeah. All right. Spoonbreaker. So I don't like the way that this uh, this one in front of me and Zulamine are looking at us. I'm going to uh, to banish banish that motherfucker. Yeah. Okay. It pops out of existence on this plane. I'm going to be honest, I didn't think that far ahead after that. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's my action. Don't really have bonus actions. Yeah, I'm going to reposition a little bit. We got a better lay of the room. Where's the rest of us? South. South? Okay. Are there more of them over there? You only know what you can see so far. Um, I guess for my bonus action, I'm going to ask Ash how it feels to be inside of somebody. I'm guessing I didn't hear that, so I'm just going to ignore it. That's fine. You didn't use telepathy? Yeah, of course I did. <laughs> Ash, you heard it. Oh. Uh, by the way, uh, just so you are aware, you cannot breathe in here or you start to breathe in acid. So you can answer them telepathically, but I would highly suggest you like keep your actual character mouth closed. Right. Okay, so I will answer him hypothetic or <laughs> telepathy using telepathy um that it, it 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 feels like i am being deep fried in not butter and that is very insulting mm. kind of exciting all right cool the end of my turn oh okay I love that. I mean, what am I going to do for what am I going to do for Ash right now? <laughs> I love that for me. Sulamine, you're up. So can I reach Ash from say right here? Uh, you can. Cuz I noticed she has moved to the center of the Yeah. So I'm going to move down here, use four out of my six squares and try and pull Ash out. Uh, this is a straight strength check or athletics. And I'm going to use inspiration. Well, you want to roll first and then see if you need the inspiration. All right, I can do that too. But Otherwise, pretty... you're burning inspiration if there was a chance you could have rolled an inspiration or a nat 20, right? Fair enough, fair enough. Can we give him advantage because I want to get out? No, <laughs> you, you, you're... you're... You fucking called see? out. See? There it is. No, no there uh, it, is. it did work, but no, Ash, there's no way to help him because you are literally like stuck inside of jelly. Like you there's nowhere for you to try and plant your foot to try and help him. Fair enough. Uh, I still get out. Yep. Yeah. Sulamine, you pull and yank her out. You though are going to take 3d6 or more. Because of how far because you gotta pull her from the center. You're taking the full 66. 
Okay. As you yank her out, uh, give me a um, acrobatics to stay on your feet. This is, uh, yes, you, you were, as you, you yank her out, you are able to stay on your feet. Uh, Ash, I would like you also to make me an acrobatics, please, to land on your feet. Nineteen. Yeah, you managed to stay on your feet as well. So you'll mean you still have 10 feet of movement left and a bonus action if you wish. Uh, I have a cunning action that allows me to dash. So oh, shit. Feet. 10 feet of movement there. And I'm going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'll last down there. And that's me. Okay. And I don't know if I can do it in combat, but I'd start looking at the next area down here for traps if I can. If not, that's cool too. Uh, I mean, on your next turn, you could, yes. Okay, cool. It will take your action, though, to search for traps. Gotcha. Ash, you are up. I am up. Um... Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is active, use my bonus action to activate my auras so that um, Spoonbreaker and I get 15 temporary hit points. Uh, well, I think he's uh, still got his. I don't think he's gotten hit. But if uh, he has, he can replenish them to 15 temporaries. Doesn't he, doesn't he just get another 15? No. Temporary HP does not stack. Does not stack. Okay, just making sure. Okay, and then... Um, uh, the one that's closest to me, I want a strength check. DC 18, please. Okay. It fails. Fabulous. And then, um, the one... Across the hall, or whatever the one, the other one, the one on the right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something, guys. Try something. Um, I have a pocket full of dust, and I'm. You cut out after I'm. Gonna use my pocket of dust to throw it in the face of this thing okay. and I don't have an actual item I only have it listed as so I don't know how to roll the damage for it um let's see here it is a pocket oh. of dust give me uh, hang on uh desiccation I put it in the chat so I'm going to blow some dust on this thing. Uh, DC uh, dex saving throw is required. 15. Takes, yeah, 15. Or it takes 3d10 of necrotic damage. And it takes half that if it succeeds. Roll me 3d10. Okie dokie. Fifteen. Some of this uh, ooze, it looks like it kind of um, kind of gets old and where this dust hit and suddenly it starts to trickle what seems to be almost water. It looks like it was affected. Okay. 
that's good. That's good. Um, okay, and then the one that is closest to me, I'm going to use my action to stab it with my frost weaver's dagger. Um, wait, what? You already used your action, your bonus action. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry, it's an action. I forgot it's an action to blow the dust, so forget that. Yeah. I'm not moving, so I'm not taking any. <laughs> okay. No, oh. I'm not. So Spoon Breaker is on the other side of these cubes. Uh, I'll hold my huh? ground. Yeah, I bet you are. That's a bold strategy, Cotton. Oh, it sure is. Hey, Richter, it's your turn. Yeah. <clears throat> what did Wabu say about going to the stairs? Wabu said, let's get the fuck out of here. Gotcha. Oh. So, uh, Richter's going to see what's going on up there, and he's going to uh, cast a Big B's hand and send it up here to help Ash. Trying to interpose the Big B's hand in between Ash and the cube. See, and it has hit points. Twenty sure AC of twenty. It has it has my hit points, which is one hundred and fifty six. Ah, interesting. Mm hmm. It's a large hand. Sure is. So I don't I think it <laughs> I think it's a normal size um creature though. So I'm gonna cast it so that it appears right next to Ash, and then I'm gonna use my bonus action to command it to interpose itself in between trying to like stretch itself out like a big wide palm, hopefully creating some sort of barrier if uh, Ash allows it to kind of move into the space there. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, would, that would be it. All right, give me a sec then. You should should have got it to pick up Spoon Breaker and just drag him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pick up the bunny and drag him over. Rub. I don't have a hand icon. I'm looking for one. Do what you will. You can do lots of stuff with Big D's hand. Giggity. Giggity. Oh, no, apparently that one's not working. I believe its class is large, though, isn't it? Or is it medium? I'm not sure. It just says a large hand. So a large hand would be still not that large. I can upcast it, though. So I think the, the higher I upcast it, maybe the bigger it gets. Okay. Shimmering translucent force in an unoccupied space that you can see within range. Large. Yeah, its class is large. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can give you... Okay. Can you move it? Huh. Yeah, that's good. I like to move it, move it. Don't even... Where do you want to put it? Fucking scrub. <laughs> oh, that's what she said. Uh, right over here. Okay. Like that. Sure. 
Is that it for you? Yeah, I'm just going to stay with my boys over here. All right. Hey, Phoenix, it's your turn. <laughs> uh, Phoenix is going to push back up to look for the others. Oh, you guys probably don't want to be up here anymore. Uh, then he's going to take a couple shots. Sure. Okay. Roll me 66. Oh, three d6. Another three dicks for you. <laughs> Another three dicks for the other shot. Another three d6. And that one hit? Yeah. Told oh. you. It, 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 if, I mean, if you're melee swinging or shooting something, it's impossible not to hit. It fills the entire hallway. All right. So you take 21 acid damage. Your fire um, did something to it. Again, not as much as you'd expect, however. And then I'll disengage again. Fucking, I run up, fucking double punch, then backflip out of there. Oh, how far did I move up? Hang on. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Guys, get out of there. Wabu. Yes, broom breaker. Um, how is the companions closest to me looking? Uh, Phoenix has got some burns on his hands. Mm -hmm. Wabu's yeah. lightly toasted, but not bad. Okay. Yeah, you can definitely see Phoenix is uh, the blood dripping through those hand wraps. <sighs> okay, so he's feeling it a little bit. I mean, he. Other than uh, that, he looks unscathed, but uh, his hands are looking rather gnarly. Okay, I'll cast um, Healing Spirit level two. Uh, wow, that was terrible. Wow. Yep. No. <clears throat> I didn't even know All I could that. do one. Oh, that's for me? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. <laughs> hey, man. You can share with your friends. Um, uh, but yeah, so now I'm concentrating on it for the, up to a minute. Um, but it's it's over top of Phoenix. I don't know how we want to... Yeah, just use the little token thing. Yeah, I'll give you the dryad. All right, perfect. Um, and then I'm going to remain here just because um Sulamine seems to be the smarter one at fit finding traps that one failed so it can't move but it is going to attack ash that is a nat one you guys can't miss, but it can't. Uh, I was say, it takes damage from from its own swing. So it uh, it shoots out a pseudopod that uh, manages to completely miss. Ash, you don't even got to move. It just like it shoots in, just like you know, an inch or two over your head. Sounds good to me. Give me a deck save, Ash. Yeah, Ow. no. You want to know what the best part is? As these two creatures begin to touch, that 
it now takes up let's see six spaces cool and that much plus that much is oh no Yeah, they get more aggressive when they get close to each other. It's not good. Yeah, no, uh, you, you watch Ash as uh, the one right in front of you. Um, <laughs> it stays where it is, but then you hear the slurping and you feel your scalp get sucked back into the middle of this one. Uh, Bigby's hand okay. also gets absorbed. Mm -hmm. Now, Ash, that's for you. Okay. That one's for Bigby's hand. Spoonbreaker. Does a 30 hit? Yeah. 19 acid damage, and you also get sucked into the middle. Um, when you guys are in here, you cannot breathe. Your breath lasts one minute plus one more minute for every um, con mod you have. So if you are at zero constitution mod, it is one minute. If you have 14 in con, so a plus two um, modifier, it will last for three minutes. And unless somebody get finds a way to get you out, so I have five minutes. Sounds like it. Cool. Awesome. Spoonbreaker, it is your turn. And Ash is with me. Yeah. Yeah. Can I touch Ash? Uh, you guys would have got sucked near, like, close to the center, so... I'm gonna say you could probably reach out to, uh, to touch her. Alright, so Ash, uh, I'm gonna cast Teleport to the squad. Okay. The, are you a willing participant? I am a willing... I have your consent. Okay, cool. Consent. Uh, give me one minute. Let me take a look. <laughs> uh, you cannot cast teleport. Why the fuck not? Because you guys are in the middle of acid, so you see the vocal component. It means you oh, have yeah, to I speak. Have caster. Warcaster means you can cast with um, with it's things fine. in both your hands, I believe. I don't think it's got anything to do with vocal, does it? I uh, form somatic components of spells even when you have weapons in both hands, so this isn't somatic component. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with being able to speak. So I'll tell you what, I'll let you attempt it. It is going to be a very high Arcana DC, and you're going to take a shit ton of damage from the acid entering your uh, stomach and lungs. So you can either do that and take a massive amount of damage, or you can do something else. It's up to you. Cut out. Hold. Oh, okay. You'll be fine. Don't be a pussy. Actually, with the amount of damage he takes, I don't think he would.
We have mats to raise him, don't we? Oh, that's yeah, I mean, I didn't mean he was going to survive the attack. I just said he'll be fine, that's all. I don't have mats to raise anybody. Ash will carry him. Yes, I would. Oh, I also forgot to give him the damage for when he gets sucked in. Didn't I? Oh, no, because it moved in on him. Never mind, I did. Uh, I do need a, concent uh, a concentration check, though, too. So a con save when you uh, have a moment, sir, before you cast your spell. <laughs> uh what was the damage you took 19 acid oh that was for the pseudopod i did not give you the extra damage for actually entering the creature Sixteen. Uh that is a crit fail though. Otherwise you would have passed. You lose concentration on your banishment. And it pops back into existence. Yeah, fuck it, whatever. I don't give a shit. You guys will figure it out. What else you got? Nah, that's it. That's all I got. Oh, you're, you're going to try to cast teleport then? Yeah, I mean, I don't really right. have other anything else to do, so may as well. I want you to give me a... You know what? I'm going to give you your choice of an intellect check, flat intellect check, or a flat wisdom check. This is an inspiring moment. <laughs> this is as uninspirational as it comes, man. No, he needs to use an inspiration to make it happen. You have. Pretty sure. Let me take a look at your sheet to be sure. But you do have spells that you could use that do not require vocal components. That could actually help you out of this situation really well. But find your goddamn characters anyways. Let it... Can we blow it up from the inside? You're also aware, Spoonbreaker... That storms are not simply made of lightning, but there's also very loud sounds in a storm. Ooh, thunder. You shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> my God. It's for him to figure out. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong character sheet, my bad. Blair, you should look at the right character sheet. Thank you. Easier. Ash, I saw that. Yeah, I'm su suggesting my boomstick. 
make it go bye bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure that's what you meant. Keep meta gaming. I dare you. I need to go back to a paladin. I can't be a dumb barbarian anymore. It just doesn't work for me. Spoonbreaker. I opened a spell. It doesn't really look like, you know, anyone's there. Looks like they're kind of doing their own thing. So I, I think we're kind of fucked. Spoonbreaker, I opened a spell for you to take a look at in your sheet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've seen the spell. Oh, it's vocal too. You mean the spell that says vocal? Sorry, I didn't see. The I other vocal. spells that are vocal. Yeah, I've looked at my spell sheet, dude. I know. It's a shame. Are you passing then? Yeah, I guess. All right. Sulamine. I'm going to move past Richter and Waboo to right here and start searching for traps. What would you like me to roll, if anything? Uh, Nothing. Uh, you take your, okay. your action to search for traps, and you don't see any. All right, then I'm going to tell him I don't see any traps. And I'm going to start moving across here. Praying to God, I don't trigger another trap. But if I do, I'll be the guinea pig. And that's all my movement. That's me. Okay, uh, Ash, you are stuck inside of this cube. Mm, I sure am. What would you like to do, if anything? Um, we can't walk through this thing, can we? Like no. push it? No. No. Uh, I've never been inside a gelatinous cube before, so I don't know. Um, I have. It didn't end well for me. <laughs> Mitch's game? No, Queek. Oh, oh shit, that's right. I was a right. bag of bones, and they had to get me fucking fixed. Oh, that was a gelatinous cube. That was a, a dragon blood ooze that dropped from the ceiling. But it did do basically the same thing. So, yeah, same fucking shit. <laughs> Can I take my frost weaver dagger and just start stabbing the gelatinousness. Sure. Um, you are, because you're inside, it's hard to do, so it will be at disadvantage. So it would take your object in direction, pull it out, and then you may make your strikes. That's a no and a yes. All right. You can see the in a spot, um, the it, it freezes in. It starts to freeze in certain spots where you're trying to stab. Um, it's it quickly goes back to normal though. Um, you feel like you did some damage. Uh, as a, <laughs> as a, um, bonus action, I'm going to, um, activate my aura and I'm going to give myself and, um, Spoonbreaker 15 temporary hit points. Uh, before you do that, I forgot at the start of your guys' turn, you're supposed to take more damage. Sure. 
That's for Spoonbreaker uh, at the start of his turn, and that's for Ash. Spoonbreaker 25, Ash 21. Sure. No problem. And then, uh, uh, yeah, you may... Get a strength check from it. All right. Yeah, you can. There's no size uh, prerequisite for your aura, right? No. No size record. It fails. Okay, well, it can't move, so... There is that. And... Fuck it. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know. That's me. Oh, wait. Here's uh, your frost door. It's cold. Uh, so it would have an advantage. Uh, it actually does succeed. Apologies. I've been looking mm -hmm. at just the first number, but I forgot it's uh, because of its cold resistance. It's got advantage on that. The other ones did fail. The, they rolled absolute fucking trash across the board, but this one succeeded. No worry. Richter, you're up. Okay. For what Richter sees, how much of the cube froze Whoops. when they did that? Uh, none of it. Uh, your uh, Big B's hand takes 26, by the way. Okay. Um, okay, the question is, where are they in the cube? Dead center. Dead center. So, hold on, I think they actually, I guess, should be cube? right there. Yeah. How thick is the cube? It's like true to size here. Uh, yes. And last time I cast Ray of Frost, how deep did the cube seem to freeze? Uh, it only like kind of frosted over. It didn't fully freeze. Mm -hmm. Like it kind of frosts and like a little bit of it, like, kind of like when you've got uh, ice cube tray in the the freezer for like five minutes. You know, it gets that, like, mm -hmm. very thin layer, but if you take it out for, like, 30 seconds, it's going to turn back into water. Or, in this case, acid. Okay. Uh, can, could I see what Phoenix, sorry, what uh, Spoonbreaker was doing inside, what he was struggling with? Uh, Spoonbreaker just passed his turn. He didn't do anything. Did, did he try to do something though and took damage or did he no he he, he, he decided that? not to do anything kind of looks like spoonbreaker has given up on life yeah hmm he's the quiet kid in the back okay. of the room okay 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 what <laughs> the big b's hand is gonna try to do i'm gonna command the big b's hand because we're right beside each other, right? The Big B's hand is uh -huh. right beside Ash and Spoonbreaker. Sure is. I'm gonna make like, like a like a like a cupped motion with my hand, as to create almost like a little bowl underneath it, and I'm gonna command the Big B's hand to to spin around to try to create a bit of a gap where it is. Okay. So yeah, I'm trying to create a little bit of a void. Uh, to potentially create space for Spoonbreaker and uh, Ash to breathe, um, using like the the size of the fist to try to like move around in the space, like squirm it around. So that would work the same as slashing damage uh, before you decide on that action. So like as soon as it, as soon as it like does a sweep around, it closes up right behind where the hand is moving. It's like trying to create a void in water. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. Okay, well, uh, there, I guess there's, there's, there's another one. option. There's another option. There, there's another option. There is. There's such another option with your hand, bro. The, at the hand? Yeah. Can I? <laughs> okay. Can <laughs> I? Uh, can I make it do like a swimming motion and wiggle its way out? You know, like when you stick your hand out the window and there's air. 
So your hand is magical. It doesn't follow the same physics as humanoids would, uh, right? Can things go inside my hand? So you you watched uh, Vox Machina or uh, Vox Machina yet? The animated uh, series? Not all of it. Not all of it. Okay, well you definitely would have had to have seen by now Scanlan sitting in his Big B's hand to travel. Like inside of it? No, I haven't seen that. Like in the palm it... of the Big B's hand. Yeah, like riding in it. Yeah. Well, so if I, I can make this thing move, I'll just scoop him up and fucking take him out. All right. All right. Here we go. God damn, <laughs> took long enough. Give me a fucking athletics from your Big B's hand. Gotcha. I guess that makes more sense than just squirming around. Yeah, like, the fuck? <laughs> I'm going to make a swimming motion. What? <laughs> Holy I tried, shit. I was trying to get it out. I, I guess knowing that the hand can move freely in there with some contention. Yeah, it's going to essentially scoop them out. Uh, did there is there something or should I just roll? It has athletics a... or strength. If it doesn't have athletics, then just strength roll. Well, is there? I don't have a. Uh, uh a your spell. Just roll? Yeah, just do it manually. I think your your spell specified the size of the hand or the strength. Yes, it is a plus eight to strength. Yeah. Twenty four. What is the movement speed of your big bees? I gotta read the spell. It is No, I don't see it. Sixty feet. Okay. I'm gonna pull them towards me. Scoop them up. Bring them towards me. Uh, I don't know how far you want to move it, but you moved it to get it out was five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. It's been thirty-five feet here to where it is now. I'm gonna pull them as far as I can, even like running right through Phoenix to try to push back, back towards us. Sure. So I'll use all 60. All right. Move your hand and then Spoon Breaker and Ash, you guys can move yourselves onto his hand. That's 60. I use my uh, half the nimbleness to just avoid it. Hey. Now, uh, where is your... Can you post a spell for me? Because I think, technically, that might do some damage. Yeah, there is, like, a grasp damage when it grabs people. No, that's... Grasp that. I mean, I figure you're not trying to, like, grab them that hard. You're mostly just kind of, no. like, putting it underneath them and, like, using the power of the hand to push them out, right? Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Da, 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 da. Bludgeoning. I'm going to say because this was from the inside, it might actually take a little damage. So give me your damage roll, uh, which is 2d6 plus your intellect modifier for damage. Okay. <laughs> Damn, you only have you only have a five intelligence modifier. Uh, yeah, plus five. Oh, I have a thirteen, but that's uh, that's a save. But just for like raw intelligence, I have twenty one. Damn. Okay. That's crazy. All right. Um, yeah, you managed to rip this thing out. Uh, the two of you, you feel this hand uh, suddenly 
kind of put you in its palm and use its fingers to just push, propel you guys forward. Uh, the air that hits your face is... Uh, it's stale, but it's better than breathing acid. You got anything else, Richter? Richter is going to just shoot it with a ray of frost on the bottom, trying to freeze it in place a little bit. He's going to say out loud that I'm going to save a wall of force. Actually, no, I'm going to hold my action to cast a wall of force in case it tries to grab one of us. I'm going to cast a wall of force to cut off the wall. I'm going to okay. hold my action. And I'm going to announce to everyone to stay away from the cube and that I have something ready if it tries to grab us. Okay. Phoenix. I'm going to move a little bit too. Just a little bit. Go ahead. <clears throat> uh, looks like it's time to go. So Phoenix is going to run up here. Stop beside Sulamin. And uh, do a quick trap check in this vicinity. I mean, he was already trap checking, but uh, no, you uh, you don't see nothing there. Okay, I will wait for the others here. Okay. Oh, uh, start, start of um, Phoenix's turn, he gets healed from the number three. Sure, send it while this cube grows. Yeah, just three HP. And it gets added in. You guys watch as the uh, the cube expands even larger. At first, you're not really sure why, and then, Spoonbreaker, you remember you lost concentration on the other cube. On the banishment spell. It's safe to say that this thing has probably now... Combined with the other one. Wabu. It fit, right? Huh? It's too fat to fit. <laughs> That's the beauty about gelatinous cubes. It's stuck. It's not. Okay. It, it, Wabu's it, it, walking it will continue. up to the cube and casting plane shift at level 8. Okay, and that's what? That's the, uh, it's like... No, no, uh, save, save, I mean. Oh, charisma save. You want me to roll my attack? Does it have to hit? I have to hit with a melee attack. Oh, yes, please. Actually, I guess it doesn't matter. You're touching it. And because we now have three in the same one... Wow, what a shit roll. 29 damage, sir. Yep. Um, as you touch it, and then it immediately... Pop! Do the energy realm with you. Wabu, you are magnificent. You share that sentiment. Um, and then, are we out of combat now? Yeah, you sure are. Okay, I'm going to have everyone stand by me for now. I'm going to use up the rest of this healing spirit, which is only 16d6 left on that one. Uh, six. Uh, so whoever was the most hurt, which I think is Spoonbreaker, can get 56 health from that. <laughs> um, and then ev uh, everybody else is looking kind of hit, I, I assume, correct? Yes. 
the big D's yes. hand could take a little bit, but I'd rather have it take zero if people need it. All right. So Ash needs some. Phoenix will need a little bit. Sulami needs a tiny bit. Uh, Bigby's hand will pop out of existence uh, before he finishes uh, using the healing anyways. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Because it only lasts... Uh, the spell is, what, two minutes? Uh, for for the healing spirit? Yeah, this is only a minute, so... Okay. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll mass healing word. Oh, wow, that's way worse than I thought. Uh, uh, all right, so everybody gets nine. And I don't need anything. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think that's going to have to be it for now. Fuck, I don't have a lot of spell slots. Nope. No, you don't. They used a lot of your spell slots during the uh, combat last session. No, I didn't. Yeah. That doesn't matter. I only used a couple. Oh. How many spell slots you got left, Wapu? Like... Well, it's like I don't. I have like a bunch of level ones, a level two, a couple level fours, and then like high level spell slots, which I don't want to use right now on passive healing the party, if that makes sense. Fair, fair. It one hundred percent makes sense. I don't want to burn like a sixth or a ninth level spell because those are the only ones that can cast the big spell heals. You know I mean, as you get close to this uh, particular crossway, you see it continues south. It also goes east and west. Uh, the west, it seems like it. There's a corner over there, and to the east. It seems like it goes down uh, a couple steps, and then there's these much different uh, stone steps. Uh, there's also a corner over here, however. What would you like can to you, do? Can you blink the corner again? I'm sorry, I was too soon to uh, I didn't blink nothing. It's to your oh, okay. east Never and your mind. west. There's a corner to, okay. on, to, your, to your west that seems like it swings south. And there is a corner uh, going down uh, strange steps uh, to your east. Uh, and that corner turns south. I will confer with the party, relate what I found, and say the stairs to the east make me wonder whether it's either way there or another way down at one more level or whether it's a trap. But I don't mind looking for a trap because I'm going to be looking every step I take. And I'll start walking east very slowly. I did work who knows um, stonework and stuff. Uh, would I be able to assume that a different material was used because it's an older part of the dungeon? Or. I don't know. You're not even down there. Well, I can get him to describe it to me. You huh? fucking coward. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll go down. I'll check it out. 100%. Show show me these these stones that you think are different. I'll take point searching for traps the whole way. Okay. So these And I'll stop there. Tell me about them. Tell me about these stones. They're stones. They are newer than everything before. else. That is what you can surmise. They are not dwarven built. Okay, I'll relay that information to the party. These stones actually look newer than the rest of the dungeon. They also seem to be extremely smooth. And they're velvety smooth. If they were smaller, these are the type of stones you could skip on water for a mile before they sank. They're so smooth. So what do you think, Ash? Do you want me to try and walk ahead with a rope attached on one end to me and on the other end to you, in case they suddenly go flat? I think that's probably a good idea, because they might turn into a glide at 
because they're so smooth, you know? That's my concern. Let's try that. I'll keep moving forward, searching as I go. All righty, I'll wait here. You, you'll rope around the waist. Cool. Give me a survival for whoever's tying the knot. Uh, to Sulamine. Okay, I will... I mean, that should probably be who's tying the knot. <laughs> well, I Ash tied have... it, apparently. Yeah, it shouldn't have been at disadvantage, though. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's still the first roll. It's a 12. Continue, Sulamine. And it's a 50-foot rope, yeah? Yep, I'm on eight right now. And I figure there's got to be two for the uh, knot. Or two squares. So I'm pretty much at the extent of it. All right. Um, nothing happens. Still no traps when I search? Nope, not currently. Uh, give me an investigation. The way these stones are, they're made out to be steps. However, how smooth they are, this you would want stairs to be rough so you can get a grip on them. Um as you take a look, uh you, you kinda like kneel down and take a look at the stones a little closer. You notice that they seem to have almost a, a rail on the sides. Each step have a rail that has a curve straight down. You feel like you have not probably got far enough to trigger the trap. But there's a high probability that Ash was actually right. These probably turn into a slide. And as you get back to the top, Sulamine, Kind of look up, and you do notice one little crack in the roof. Every so often, a single drop of water falls down. Ah. I'll point that out to the party and hypothesize that this is going to dump water and flush us down the toilet. Maybe we should not go that way then. That I'll seems like a really good idea to me. I'll untie and put the rope back in the pack. Spike pits, baby. Cool. Uh, I'm going to cast a mage hand and send it as far as I can. What is the uh, distance you can send it to? 30 feet, I think. Yeah. I mean, Sulamine got farther than that, but... Okay, never mind. So having opted out of going east, you still have a tunnel to the south, one to the west. Clockwise, head south. Makes sense to me. Searching for traps the whole way. I'll also have my mage hand out as well to kind of uh, travel just in front of Sulamine in case anything triggers floating still. As you get to here, Sulamine, you notice a small black blackness seeping in. Oops. From where the tile seems to end before it hits the wall. On that side there and there. And even down here. Like it would just fold away if it had a hinge on the other side? A hinge? Like the, uh, say for example, there were a hinge vertically along this wall here. Would the floor just drop away, or would I get that impression? Or am I just being paranoid now? You might be a little paranoid. You can Probably. investigate it if you'd like. 
I'll investigate it from here. Okay. You know hinges on the other side. I'll look from here. No hinges. I'll relate this to the party and explain that I'm confused as to what this could mean. Sorry, when you uh, left this square, which way did you go? Did you go diagonal? No, nah, I'd have gone left. Or gone to the right. Yeah, when you were already walked here? that room. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you didn't go here? No. Okay. You don't see any hinges. You're making it really hard not to bet a game. <laughs> Is it I know, hole? I know. Yeah, it's 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 a hole in the left side. Right here. A black crack where there's no tile. A stone. The stone actually looks like it's cracked away. Like, this was not made like this on purpose. Definitely see that, uh, like, the, the stone is kind of broken from the wall. Can I tell if it's weak? Give me, I'm going to say an investigation at advantage because you're stone cutting. Or maybe we could hit it with a bludgeoning weapon and see if it breaks. 13. Shit. It looks like it might be a little weak. I'm going to relay that. That looks weak. Maybe we should try going to the west. West sounds really good to me. Back it up. Back it up. Searching again. <laughs> Hold on one sec. I got to read something real quick. I made this dungeon, but I made it two years ago, so I don't remember everything. It's obviously <laughs> decayed into uh, non function. You may continue. The corner seems to turn not only northwest, but also northeast. I'm going to start trying to move quietly through the shadows if there are shadows. But I'm going to move the motion of the party forward and say it looks clear this far. As you get here, pause. Pause. Ash. Sulamine, I'm going to whisper you something, and I want you to whisper me the answer back, please. Okay. Ice cream. There'll probably be slash GM, right? <laughs> uh, no, it's uh, just click on 2GM on your character sheet. And Got then it. and then do what I do what I sent you. Okay. Sulamine, you see something glinting in the northwest. And as it catches your eye, you look towards it. Stop moving, Richter. Put yourself back where you were. Yep. I want to whisper you again, Suleiman. Keep whispering like this, I'll think you like me. <laughs> Sometimes. That deep Texas accent. <laughs> there you go.
Every man may start moving again, please. Uh, okay, I think I follow you. Where is Spoonbreaker? Not moving his character. Ah, he's going to get left behind. Phoenix, everybody pause again, please. Let you a message, Phoenix? Yeah. <sighs> As Sulamine, uh, you guys may proceed. As Sulamine starts heading towards this room, Phoenix, you're a little confused. It seems to be a dead end. Where's the dead end? Where I am? No, in this room. Right oh. here. It's a wall. Okie doke. You watch as Sulamin uh, walks up and he lays, he kind of gets down on knees and he opens his bag of holding and he's scooping something in. But I don't see him, like he's just scooping empty hands? Yes, however, before you get to respond to that, give me a moment. Nobody move. Ash and Wabu, I whispered to you guys as well. Hold on, nobody move. Nobody move. <laughs> uh, Ash and Wabu start walking towards the uh, north, east. Uh, the other two of you that are left, uh, that, that's not the northeast. No, that, that's, that's southwest. There you go. <laughs> Wabu, you as well. Uh, the other two of you may go about your normal movement. Um, I had to... Before you get there, Wabu, as soon as Ash enters the room, the door is quickly closed. It drops down from the ceiling. And on the back of it, you notice six circles. Indents in this wall. <clears throat> Those of you who are inside, Phoenix, you followed Sulamine, but you do not see what him and Ash are doing. Ash, you are also trying to scoop gold coins that you see from these chests into your bag of holding. Phoenix, you're, you're, you're going to be extremely confused because you don't see anything. However, Phoenix, you're the only one of the three that are aware of this. <clears throat> you hear... And then, whoosh, sounding like. Everybody inside that room takes 14 fire damage as the roof spews fire. Sulamine and Ash, two of you don't even notice. You continue going about what you're doing. Wabu. Wabu, you're not in the room. You don't take the damage. The door's, the door's right at the top of the stairs here. You're on the outside of it. In fact, as Wabu, as you had started to head towards the room, um, seeing the gold as well, as soon as the door comes down, you snap out of it. 
Now you're looking at the back side of this door with two. Where is it? Sorry, the indents are triangle like, uh, and it seems to be holes. Well, but you, you, you're a little confused by this, um, as you see these six holes on the back side of this door. And you can hear uh, what sounds like fire in the other room. Phoenix, how are you responding to the fire? Uh, by being burnt. And then uh, I'll look at the other two and be like, what are you guys doing? You're scooping air and we're getting burnt. They do not seem to notice you. I'm going to roundhouse kick Ash in the side of the head. Why is it all your feet? Roll for attack at advantage. Because you can take it. <laughs> That's fair. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so a 24 to hit since he whispered it to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, yeah. 19 bludgeoning, 6 fire, and uh, I guess 3 bludgeoning. Yeah. So, 22, 28 damage, Ash. Ash still continues to dig um, in here. Uh, is Richter and Spoonbreaker heading up to see what's going on? I feel like Wabu's probably going to need some help on this. Yeah, yeah, Wab uh, Richter will come around the corner mm. for sure. And there's nothing on my side of the door? There's nothing. There's no way to lift it or pry it up. Uh, in fact, it the back side of this door seems like a black solid metal you've seen this on uh on other people before this looks like adamantine hot wabu and, and richter and spoonbreaker in front of you lies the side of the door with four triangle holes in it they don't go all the way through in fact on closer inspection, it only seems to go in about uh, eight or nine inches. Seems like a significant amount. Yeah, well, there's reasons for that. Um, Richter, Wabu, and Spoonbreaker, you all can give me perceptions. <laughs> God damn, Spoonbreaker. Wabu. You read words. Actually, sorry. We'll give Richter the words. Richter, you see words above this door. Which read in what looks to... What looks to be possibly old dried blood. The seed is sown, but the flowers harvested after the blood has been shed, where the tree prolongs after fire and death. I will put that in chat. Richter. Or sorry, Wabu, you notice sitting to the side here. It's a long dead skeleton. Six daggers stick out from this being. As you take a look at these daggers, they all seem to have images on the pommels. A flower. A seed. A tree. A flame. A skull. And one. Unfortunately, the symbol has been damaged beyond recognition. What would you like to do? 
any of the three outside can can input into this. Yeah, I'm going to relay everything I'm noticing to everybody else as well. So, I'm thinking we have to put the daggers in in that order. So, seed, flower, blood, tree, fire, and then there's one more. All right, so your first order, try and put it in chat for me there real quick. Can we get all the types of daggers again? Yes, uh, I will give them to you a second. I'm just thinking and reading. Mm -hmm. Wabu and Spoonbreaker, you guys can have input here as well. What was the first order you wanted to, to look at, Richter? Ash, do not. <laughs> Don't. You are inside. This is for the players outside. Uh, the way I'm reading it is seed. Putting it in the order. So seed, flower, one that we don't know potentially, um, fire, death, tree, because it says that three prolongs after fire and death. Well, so the blood, flower. the blood is shed. Uh, so, like, the blood is shed first. Right, the seed is sown, but the flower is harvested yeah. after the. Oh, so yeah. actually, wait, seed, blood, flower. Does that make sense? Seed yeah. sown, yeah. and the yeah. blood's yeah. shed, so it can be harvested. Um. I think that's the first order. I think so as well. But we don't know the one that's damaged. Could, like when you take a look at it, is there any sort of indication, or is it just completely no? Oh. Yeah, I think this is what we'll do. Blood is is the unknown one. But seed unknown flower fire death tree as you slide them all in on the other side you hear this time louder and stronger than the one previously everybody inside the room Bulamine, ash phoenix flames spew forth again 24 fire damage I will give it to you guys. You are so close on the outside. I'm I'm amazed you got that close the first attempt. As the fire spews, and you guys on the outside can hear it, the daggers are pushed out all at once and clatter to the floor. going to read it again. The seed is sown, but the flowers harvested after the blood has been shed, where the tree prolongs after fire and death. Mm.
Uh, can we try fire, death, tree, seed, blood, flower? Sure. Is that what order you're slamming them in at? Yes. Everybody inside the room, 32 fire damage. I'm going to read it again for you. <clears throat> the seed is sown, but the flowers harvested after the blood has been shed, where the tree prolongs after fire and death. Okay, maybe just sub the death in before the blood. The death, blood, flower, fire, tree. Yeah. You guys are going to burn us again, aren't you? Is that what you're doing? You're putting it in that order? Yes, sir. My skin hurts. 35 damage to those inside. It's getting rough in here, guys. I'm going to repeat this one one more time for you, okay? The seed is sown, but the flowers harvested after the blood has been shed. Where the tree prolongs after fire and death. The yelly part might have been a hint. If that's the case, the wording on this is terrible. If you're saying that it goes blood, seed, flower, fire, death, tree, then the wording is terrible on it. If that is the correct answer. I'll tell you what the answer is if, if nobody gets it by the time they're dead. Well, I guess break. we got to try that, though. Like, blood <laughs> would have to go first before the, the rest, then. We haven't tried that. The blood is not first, I don't believe. Sulamine, you want to take a stab at it? Or, I mean, um, sorry, Sulamine, Spoonbreaker? Yeah. Spoonbreaker? Sulamine's picking up gold. Spoonbreaker, have a stab at it. Come on. I know you I know you're smart. I hate to admit oh, it, but I, I know you're I, smart. I, I might have got it too. Anybody? Anybody step up for this hit zero? Yeah, yeah. Seed. You cut out? Blood. Seed. Blood. Death. One sec. Seed. Blood. Death. Flower. Fire. Yeah, I think you said it like the top one there. The one that you just posted. Yeah, I was trying to figure it out. I think you said the top one, right? Seed, blood, death, yeah. uh, flower, fire, tree. 
Okay, so that's what you're going with? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, no. Phoenix, you watch as Ash and Sulamine continue to try and pick up these coins. The fire rains down from the ceiling again. And Sulamin, body burning, falls unconscious. <clears throat> oh no. I'm gonna read this one more motherfucking time. Because that's been a good strategy so far. Well, I'm not giving you all the answer. It is oh, no. so simple. The seed is sown. But the flowers harvested after the blood has been shed where the tree prolongs after fire and death. Did 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 you get what I sh what what I screamed? There's there's keywords in there, guys. Keywords. Can you scream it yes, one more time? Very cool. I agree. Well, After the... the blood has been shed. Come on, guys. I'd love to help you, but I'm busy burning to death. Please. Please. I'll give you guys one more attempt. What would you like to do? Uh, Richter is going to cast Disintegrate on the door. Are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> Richter is kind of panicking here. Um... He knows it's probably adamantine from looking at it, eh? No, this side is stone. This side is stone. Oh. The other side oh, is no, adamantine. Then, oh, then fuck yeah. He's, he probably would cast this if uh, if he knows that they're about to die. Okay. Keep in mind, this isn't my PDF. This is, this is your fault, not mine. That's fair. Hey, Richter, roll your damage. One moment. There's so many things. Okay. Now roll me a dexterity save at disadvantage. Uh, DC it 22. Does not have, okay, it does not have that radiant damage. Why doesn't it? That's just your extra dice from casting a spell, right? Yeah, I'm just making sure it's the right... It's D6, so it shouldn't be a D12 that I'm rolling. Okay, so yeah, add 2 D6 and we'll remove the 20. <laughs> okay. So that is uh, 86? And dex, yep. Uh-huh. Richter, uh, it's at disadvantage, so you failed anyways. But let's let's see how badly. Okay. As you cast this spell, trying to disintegrate this wall before you, it hits the wall. But instead of disintegrating the stone, it seemed to absorb the impact. And then it shoots it straight back at you. You take yeah, 86. Well, what is it? Force? Force damage. Yeah. On top of it that... It sounds like you're being forced to make a better choice. Unfortunately... Unfortunately, what else happens is... What D6s was I at? 
12. Okay, so it's only been going up by 2d6, but you tried to attack the door. That is one failed death save for Sulamine. Ash, you are unconscious. Shame. Phoenix, yeah. What? You shouldn't... You were up in the... You were at 70-something, right? No, I wasn't. I just didn't take it off my sheet. It was on my calculator. Oh. As all three people in that room fall unconscious, the door opens. You hear stone on stone as it rises. The three burnt bodies, uh, although they're not fully dead, they're all unconscious, uh, lay before you. Phoenix, Ash, and Sulamine. So, player knowledge. You guys had the spa, the the first order. Did you guys put it in? That was correct. I want you guys to listen to the three or four words. After the blood has been shed. Trick was to cut yourself with you the dagger. You gotta put blood on it, yeah. Uh, see, I thought that right away, too. And I... I uh... I, that was like the first thing I thought before we started doing that. So yeah, that's what I was trying to hint I, at, especially when I was here, like, I know, I know, Ash was in the same state because she kept saying she knew it, but I'm sitting here going, God, I wish I could help. <laughs> I'm yes, sitting sir. here fucking biting my tongue. Yeah, the the very first thing like, I was gonna do is cut my hand and put it on the door, but then I was like, oh, let's, let's put the fucking things in, and then I got locked in that we were close with the order, not the actual wording. Well, that's why I said you were so close. I I didn't give any other hint that you guys were so close after you changed them. That, that, that was the hint. The fact that you guys had the order correct, all you had to do was cut your hand. However, as these three lay before you, unconscious. Wabu, the gold you Break saw in the room at first is no longer there. None of you see anything there. Just looks like an empty room with several weak spots along the floor. In the corners. What would you all like to do? Sulamine, uh, Ash, and Phoenix, all give me a death save, please. Whisper it to me. Um, if I can see them, I'm just going to cast Aura Vitality on top of all three of them. They still got to give me the death save, but yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Level four because I can't do it level three, so I gotta double check about upcasting on that one. Okay. There is no upcast, so it will just just be forty d six. All right. Please keep track of your death saves. Those of you who failed to, and uh, Sulamine, you have one currently. Not, not very good. Hundred and forty two. Yeah, that's pretty shit. Um, one forty two. Can I roll? So, 47 health each. I assure you that's better than the state that I was in, so most appreciated. Blair? Hello? Did you see my roll? I sure did. Okay. I whispered you the answer. Yeah, okay. Sorry, what was the health? Oh, well, it's 142, but it's got to get split 47 each. 47 yeah. each. Okay, cool. Can I cast my um my aura when I'm not in in game like not in uh, turn order? Uh, yeah. Can I can I get a can we all just leave this room and huddle together so I can at least give us all 15 temporary hit points? Alrighty, 15 temporary hit points for everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. Little buffer never hurt. Sulamine and Ash, the two of you are actually kind of rather confused. Um... As you come 
back up alive, you don't understand why the gold is no longer there. Did your allies well, take it on you? It's obviously in my bag. <laughs> right? Yeah, we collected it all. Yeah, what the two of you saw is as you guys kept scooping it in, it kept overflowing more out of the chests onto the ground. You guys don't even know, uh, other than the fact you guys have blisters and stuff all over your body, you have no idea you took any damage until you woke up. Where'd all the gold go? Suleiman's going to go back and search for it. What gold? Su Suleiman, stay out of there. There's no gold. I didn't even see any gold. Well, There's what? definitely gold. I saw gold. Lots of it. There was no gold. It was a illusion i was in there with you the whole time there was no gold there was only fire and death don't oh. go back in that room is that why i'm feeling crispy that is why you're feeling crispy ash i didn't even see any fucking gold i was just following sulamine because i thought he was going the right way and i got caught in there with you guys phoenix is shaking his head at himself feeling stupid. He didn't even fall for the fucking spell and still got burnt. So, you guys are aware that you can either go back east, you can go northwest, or, sorry, north and then northwest, or northeast. As that is the way the tunnels go, it is your choice. What direction would you like to go? I'll run down a portion of greater healing, taking a turn to do it first. Yeah, if you want to, you can go ahead. Uh, I mean, since you're not in combat, you can take your time to get all of it in your mouth and you get the full benefits. Yep, that's what I'm working on. Just trying to remember how much it was. Uh, uh, a greater is 4d4 plus 4. So, 20. 20. I'm going to do the same with uh, Supreme. Phoenix is going to sit down yep. on this wall and start fucking tending to his wounds. Sure. I'll start searching to the northwest, having been crispy now. While trying to hide. that if uh, you were to head northeast there looks to be two uh, pathways to take however if you go northwest it comes to a corner which then turns southwest try northwest Phoenix, are you taking a short rest? That was the plan. Oh. Oh. Are you all also taking okay. a short rest? Are you leaving him there for an hour? No, no, I'll stay with him. I'm not going to leave it. All right. Yeah. By all means, you guys may take your hour, have your hit dice. Nothing comes for you. Roll as many no. as you wish. For this, do we have to take the rest? What do you mean? Like, this would be our second short rest, yes? Uh, I believe so, yeah. So if I choose to not do anything here, do I? Is, will there be any other opportunity for a short rest? Can I still choose to do that or no? I mean, I can't tell you that. I mean, that's basically asking me to tell you, like, you know, what's coming up in the dungeon. I'm telling yeah, yeah. you right now that nothing I'm is coming saying, for like, you. I'm just saying, like, mechanically, if I choose not to take a short rest, can I take one later? 
and like force other people to take an hour to sit on their hands. I mean, you can't force them. I'm not doing one here. But say to them, hey, I'm I'm saying right now, just I I don't want to use, I don't want to recover my spell slots now because I want to do that later. You don't have to, no. It's not worth it's not it's not worth me doing it now. Uh, arcane recovery would be something you would choose to do during a long rest or a short rest. Sorry, you don't have to do your arcane recovery. Mm-hmm. The same thing mechanically, if one person takes a short rest, do we all have to do it? Uh, so I, I I'm, think I'm not... I think what he's saying is he's referring to two short rests per day. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. I don't want to get caught in a scenario where I can't use arcane recovery later in this dungeon. You can use as many short rests rest as people are willing to sit through. Okay, got you. So if, say, you decide later on to take your short rest, but everybody else wants to continue, then, I mean, that means you're sitting there for an hour, and they're continuing. Yeah. So it's it's a group decision, right? But you can take as many short rests as you want in a day, and you just because you're taking short rests doesn't mean you have to use an ability uh, that you can only use once per long rest. But you need a short rest yep. to use it. You know what I mean? Yep. Sounds good. Okay. Y'all yeah, hang out. All right. Yeah. Roll your uh, roll your hit dice, and then we'll we'll get moving after that. Actually, uh, I think we're gonna actually take a few minute break because I got to go to the bathroom and grab a drink and stuff. So. Sounds good. We'll be right back. Everybody refill your drinks, do what you got to do, and so on. Cool.
All right, so as you all take your short rests, get some HPs back. Looks like Sulamine is heading to the northwest. Well, Sulamine stopped after I realized everybody is taking a short rest. So, I figured you're we... telling me we're not done that. Uh, I no, no, we are. Uh, I just assumed that uh, you made your travels as the long rest ended. Or the short rest ended, sorry. Work for me. You guys continue to the northwest. As you get to this end, uh, you notice that uh, the corner bends to the south. And we're missing peoples. Over here, you notice that the walls seem to be a little different, like they, a separate wall seems to be running across the seam of this corner, making it flat instead of a point. Won't get squished unless we try. You also notice that there's some weakened stones uh, and some stones that are missing. Probably stay away from that wall. Sounds good. That's what the wall wants you to think. Right? I assume you're trying to stay as far as away, so you would have gone here, yes? I know you probably just couldn't fit in that square, yeah. but yeah. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Continue. Before you lies a door. I think it's a door. Hold on. Uh, the door is apparently open here because I didn't put a door there. And beyond it lies a staircase that seems to spiral upwards. Um, there does not seem to be a wall on the other side of the... Uh, like on the inside of the staircase, however. It seems to be open. Well, let's find out. Yeah, be my guest. Be my guest. Be my be guest. Be my mind. guest. And stop. A giant boulder rolls down the stairs. As you get to here, a small glyph on the floor begins to light. You immediately shoot straight up. At this point, you realize that uh, the staircase actually ends here before it gets to another level. It is just a large open tower with smooth walls. You shoot straight up. Uh, about... Give me one second, I gotta look at the spell. So, I mean, you're a brave man. It's just a fancy elevator from, like, Elden Ring. Don't worry, guys. Exactly. Uh, 100 feet. Ow. You seem to just be floating there. Uh, your feet are touching the top of the um, spot where the spell stops. The roof, however is much higher than that. You cannot see it. So I'm just like dangling in the air. You are. Any steps to step off on? Or nope. just dangling in the air? Smooth wall. Like our brains. Right. Ash and Richter, you guys uh, were the closest. You guys see Sumi shoot up so quick, it almost looks like he just disappeared. Hello? I'm up here, don't follow. This isn't cool. Hey, like, is there another floor up there? Was this an elevator? No, I'm just up here in the air, spinning around, doing nothing. Do you I'm need trying... assistance? I need a what? Yeah. 
you begin to hear something. Boom, 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 boom. And it's too far at the moment for you to see. But it seems like something is spinning. That's what trying. It, the sound is what I to of. Try and get out of this square. I don't know how it moved, but. You are stuck where you are, sir. You can use the walls to push off of, but it's not going to. Um, it's not going to propel you up or down. It is up to your friends to try and figure out how to save you. You watch too much Saw, bro. Actually, actually, this is Ch Charlie in the Chocolate Factory, motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you got to burp. Oh, no, nice. burping doesn't work though, because this is a spell. Quick, pull uh, my um, Phoenix is gonna <laughs> step into the space. Yes. I was also gonna see if like the the sigil was still active. No, it flared to life for a moment, and then that was it. Okay. So I don't shoot up. Oh, you do. Yes. I oh, mean, so. like the uh, because now you stepped into the reverse gravity spell. In fact, Richter, I would like since you're there and you know magic, give me an Arcana. Yeah, uh, reverse gravity. I don't think he, I don't know if you actually have it or not, but it is on your spell list. You definitely would have seen it at some point with all the spells and spell books and stuff you've read. Um, this sigil is definitely a, um, that, uh, Life of Warding? What is that spell? Would I know if I could dispel this? Uh, yes, it is. It considering... is a glyph of warding, um, and the spell that was used attached to it was definitely a reverse gravity spell. Richter's considering the spell magic. He's also communicating with Sulamine and, uh, or probably just uh, Phoenix, letting him know to keep in contact that he might try to dispel magic, but that would make them drop. Uh, am I so I'm up with Sulamine now? Yes, sir, you are. And you also hear the whoomp, whoomp, whoomp. How, how far does your dark vision reach? 60 feet. From Sulamine? Uh, I got dark vision and umbral, so I'm looking right now. Dark vision to 60, and I think umbral. Umbral site gives me an extra 30, so 90 feet. Cool. Cool. So, what we are going to do... I mean, going there's to... a reason I came up here. Can I... Oh, get, just give me one second. I'm going to um, describe something. We, we don't actually have to roll initiative. I'm just putting this there, so I'm keeping track of rounds. That's all. So I'm just going to add... Turn... Wabu is going to be uh, repre uh, representing the fan that you can now see, um, Sulamin. It seems to be descending rather slowly. Probably about a, five feet per turn. There's a giant fan up here, Richter. If you could uh, get us down, that would be good. And Phoenix, uh, you jumped up there for a reason, so uh, you may yeah. go. Okay, so he said you said that he can get to the wall, right? Um, I believe he was near the wall when he shot up, so like he, he like he's at the wall. Okay, so I'm going to grab Sulamin and plant my feet on the wall. And I'm gonna try and move back away, like back down the hallway on the wall. Uh so right now you guys are about a hundred feet and uh it only turns into hundred feet once you get past the door. So like where you guys are, 
like it's it's a straight cylinder so like you you want to like run downwards is that what you mean yeah sure okay Trying to carry him while doing this. I'm going to need an athletics per round. Yeah. So you grab onto Sulamine and you begin to try to run down. Give me an athletics. You don't have to whisper it, but yes. Um, oh, I think that's <laughs> yeah, no worries. Uh, you managed to get him down. Uh, I'm actually going to put the feet in this thing. So right now it is 190 feet. All right. Um, because you're carrying something, uh, you're going to get 15 feet per round on a success, all right? At a 55? 15? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 15 oh, out of yeah. my... Okay, so we'll say we'll say twenty five then. Fuck yeah! All right. So you get down seventy five feet, or down twenty five feet to seventy five. The fan continues. Another athletics as you continue to try to bring him down. Okay. Damn, I'm liking those 16s. Hey, as long as it's working. <laughs> you continue to try to run. Give me. Okay. You are 25 feet from the ground. The fan, although descending, does not seem to be uh, picking up any speed as of yet. Can I cut down the hall yet on my next turn? Let's see your athletics. Do you have advantage? Uh, not that I'm aware of. So an 11, then. I would imagine so. You shoot back up. Yeah, I'll fucking use my inspiration point on that. Okay. In that case, you manage to land, uh, get yourself down onto the ground. Give me one more athletics to get him out of the zone. Well, uh, when I was at 25 feet, can I just like cut and turn down the hallway instead of trying to run all the way to the ground? I don't need to go all the way to the ground. I just need to get to where the ceiling is. I'll so, say, like, yeah. ideally, at yeah, 25, I was trying to turn and get the fuck off this square. You use an inspiration point. I'll allow it. You manage to get out, and as you do, you hear scree as the whomping stops. And then you hear you hear some metallic screeching as uh, what you can only describe as metal on metal getting fainter. You feel like the uh, this particular fan that was descending has reascended itself. Well, that seems to be a dead end. I guess back, we take another route. Back the other way to go south where the holes in the rock were? So what was, what was the deal with the stairwell? It was an illusion. It didn't actually go anywhere. Is that is that what we figured out? No, it was uh, once upon a time, it was actually a stairwell. Um, but once it got up about uh, 30 feet, it just ended. 
Oh, okay. So it doesn't actually go anywhere. No. Gotcha. Well, then, yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. But that's the trick, right? As somebody sees stairs, they're like, oh, this might be a way out. So they head towards it. They step into the room. And next thing you know, they're sucked up into the air, right? GTFO. Where's Sulamin gone? I went back down to the stairs that Ash was talking about. Or to the uh, southern prong that we bypassed. My computer's freaking out. Can someone move me with the group? Gotta reload. I believe, Ash, I think you have control of Richter. I got him. Okay. Try. Thank you. Thank you. He's down here. I'll be back in a minute, just loading. Where's down here? Because I'm not sure where you went, Sue. I mean, oh, I okay. You, so you, you remember? Okay, that works too. guys don't want to go north it's a shame it's the way we came no there's like we could have gone where we took the short rest then we went up and there was uh we could have got like we went the way we went or we could have gone like northeast ah yeah 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 i kind of explored up there a little bit that's uh where we met the gelatinous cubes yeah. If we had gone east there, that connects to that same hallway, and there's a route that goes north. Ah, uh, did you see anything north when you were over there? Uh, there's a hallway. That's as far as I got, and then I was waiting because I didn't know where the hell you went. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought we were going that way, so I went that way, and you weren't there, and I was like, I'm going to stop. <laughs> That's fair. It just keeps me on the loading screen. I can't get in, so just give me a minute. I'm going to have to restart my computer. All right. Uh, the rest of you may continue, though. Did you guys want to... Is this where you guys want to be? Or do you want to be um, up near the gold... Fake gold room? No, I think we should continue on our way this way. Okay. I want to be in a nice warm inn with a good drink. you continue Sulamine you see the stairs that lead to a small platform and they seem to turn north and I'm going to try and hug this part of their wall but the grids are kind of uh huh there's one oh there. stop Phoenix oh, wow. my good man yeah. dexterity save please too close to the edge And let me fucking hell. One of the stones drops out from beneath Phoenix. Uh, he does manage to make it back to a safe spot. However, as that happens, Ash, I now need you to make me a deck save. Okay. <laughs> and actually, Phoenix is right next to what next to it as well. I need another deck save from you, Phoenix. Oh. Ash and Phoenix, the two of you begin to fall. Phoenix reaches quickly for the edge and just barely misses it. 
literally by one, by the way. Missed it by one. Hot. It doesn't even look like Ash tried. Do you have a reaction before I move you? Uh, as a reaction, can I do anything? I don't know. Do you have something? Stop yourself from falling. Wait, that, wait, that's wait, my, my wait, action. Wait, 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 wait. I, I think I have something for this. Can I use my luck to re-roll? That that would be something that you could do. When did you get lucky? I don't think you have you ever used it. I've used it once. I keep forgetting that I have it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Oh know, my god. Everything. That's why I'm like looking down the reactions. I'm like, uh, oh yeah, I have this thing that does things. Sure, re-roll it. <laughs> okay. And then I add a d20 to it. What? No. Yep. You just re-roll it, which that's still a fail. <laughs> still a fail. Okay. Yeah. Oh. I mean, you could probably re-roll it two more times if you want. <laughs> Can I just use an inspiration point? There you go. Oh my god. I This is momentous. I don't think I should just use a, 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 an inspiration point more than like once the entire game. No, this is the first time in, in three years. I hoard them. I, I don't. You literally have two. I gave you guys an option to use like to have two so that you don't yeah. hoard them. I know. All right. Give us three so we don't hoard them. Jesus. Agreed. So, Ash, you get to move yourself one square as you start to fall but manage to catch yourself at the last moment. Well, okay. Spoonbreaker, you said you had something for this. Phoenix is still falling. Do you have something? Um, well, no. Phoenix, I'm just going to move you here for a minute so I can leave this black spot on uh, the map. Sure. Can I uh, rabbit hop and grab Phoenix? That is not a reaction, sir. I thought you meant you had, like, a reaction, like a slow fall or something. I was just going to say, Phoenix is falling. He fell through the hole. Uh-huh. If, if, if Richter's there, he'll cast Featherfall. Sure. Featherfall. So, Phoenix, you begin to slow fall slowly. I'll also say to the group, let's grab him. So maybe now a hop would be appropriate. Well, Could he, a hop be appropriate? Yeah. Uh, I mean, he 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 is below uh, the spot now. Like he's not oh. far below, but he's still below. Get the rope. Could I use rope trick and uh, have it extend out? I don't know. Is can it do that? I don't know. If it can, <laughs> <laughs> I'm making shit up, bro. If it can do that, then sure. Let's see what rope trick does. Rope trick. One yeah, end rises the into the air. So what if I laid on my back while I did it? No, that like if you're doesn't matter which it's way you're joke. laying up is up. I know it's a joke. Unfortunately, no. So Phoenix, you start okay. falling very slowly. I'll just throw him a regular rope and like, pull him up. Am I able to take out my hempen rope and 
toss it to someone to hold mm -hmm. on to. And I hold the other end. He falls. And he's falling slowly. So he falls I mean, you could just throw it to feet. me. I mean, that's, that is an idea. He's falling slowly. If you would like to take out a rope and throw the one end to him, you may. Yeah. I can I help him up because I'm strong. However, there's a problem. As you pull out your rope and you throw it down to him, I need Ash, Wabu, and Spoonbreaker. You all need to make a dexterity save now. Ah, fuck As the no. weakened stone is spreading. Which is, why, which is why the two of them, even after they succeeded the first one, you guys start to fall. Get out of here. I mean, wow. is, there, like, is there walls near me, or am I just in a... Oh, <laughs> like... it, it, it's darkness. It is nothing but... There's nothing underneath the, this dungeon. It is open air. I would like to make a jump over to the other side of this hole that is becoming a hole. What is your strength? 29. So you can get uh, from a standing jump, you can get half of your strength, so we'll call it an even 15. If you want to go any further than that, I need an athletics. Okay, athletics, I guess. 25. Okay, so 5, 10, 15. You can get to here. Okay. And then can I just start moving? Uh, no, because we're still dealing with the other ones in their deck saves. Wabu, right. you succeeded. The stone falls out from under you, but you can move one. Uh, well, I guess you've only got one spot you can go to currently uh except spoonbreaker i still need your deck save sir yeah no you begin to fall as well um i'm going to roll an extra d4 on that because of lucky footwork um, you can totally do that, but I'll tell you, even if you a max D4 makes it 10, it's not going to help you. Yeah, you need like an 18 or above. Can I use an inspiration point? You may. I know why this room was created. Flush out all of our inspiration points. No, no, I actually had no intention up. That's why I gave you guys a heads up on the, you know, where it would be weak. Anywhere there was black, it's weak. So, uh, if you're using a inspiration die, you may move two squares, Spoonbreaker. Okay. At this point, I think backing up actually would be better for you guys than moving forward. Wabu, that spot is falling. That's where Spoonbreaker just left. And for some reason, he went that way instead. Uh, the only open square. What, what's your strength, Wabu? I know it's probably, probably pretty trash, right? Uh, 16. Is my strength. So, if you want to go further than 5 feet, give me an athletics. Okay. Huh. I don't have advantage. Fortunately, you can only get to this square to your north uh, northwest. One square. North. So this one? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> I 
seeing them jump every which way can I try and throw a rope uh, down to catch our falling friend? Um, I mean, as you go to pull out your rope, you're also right next to a weak spot. I also need a deck save from you, sir. You've been there a bit. I just I neglected to see it because of Ash's uh, fucking aura. Sorry. Am I up now or am I still falling? Oh, you're still darkness? falling. Oh, cool. All right. Deck save. You may move one square. You know what I mean? All right. Ash. We. Oui. Deck save. Uh, and Spoonbreaker and Wabu. 18. Um, re really quick. Do I... Can I see what color cape um, Phoenix is wearing? What color cape are you wearing, Phoenix? If Phoenix is using a cloak, I don't know if he is. I have a cape on, yeah. <laughs> yeah? Um, can... Wabu call out to Phoenix and tell him to use his cape. Hopefully he gets it. Yeah. I yeah, got he... something for you, Phoenix. If I since I'm probably falling here, I got something for you for show. Sure. Uh my cape of the Montebank gives me what dimension door or fucking something. It does give you Dimension Door. The only reason I'm calling out as a character is because I have the same cape. So if I notice the cape, I would know what it does. And it didn't get used last session, right? I don't think it did. No. I, know, I know somebody did, but I don't think it was Phoenix. All right. Um, by all means, would you like to use your cape? Yes. Yes, I would. Okay. And I will get myself over here. Alright. And I'll turn and go, thank you, Wabu. Alright. That was then Ash was here. And uh, uh since since the floor is still cr crumbling, can I also use my cape? To land right beside Phoenix? You may. Thank you. Uh, Spoonbreaker, you begin to fall. Why? So. Okay. Sulamine and Ash. And both Boom Baker's fly spell. Yeah. What? I rolled it before Spoon Breaker's fly spell because it was coming. Oh, got you. Uh yeah. Move one square. Ash, you start to fall. Yeah. Can I reach out to Ash as a uh, uh, reaction? Athletics, Sulamine. You manage to grip each other's fingers. And the floor beneath you begins to fall as well, Sulamine. Toss me. Your dexterity save is at disadvantage, Sulamine. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. You manage, you. you manage to grip your hand onto the tile. 
to your north as one underneath you slips. Around you, you can see that uh, spots where the floor was barely attached. Like, oops. God damn it. Stop that. Uh, is starting to fall. I'm on the other side. God fucking damn it. That's what I'm saying. Uh, as you hold on, though. That one to the north begins to fall. I need an athletics to hold on to Ash and a uh, disadvantage dexterity save. You lose your grip I on use... Ash, so now it is a uh, straight dexterity save. I use an inspiration point. To hold on to her? Yeah. Okay. You manage to kind of uh, haul Ash up just enough so you, you can actually grasp each other's forearms. However, the... Uh, damn, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, as that one falls, you grab the one right here. You have a solid grip with Ash. You don't have to keep re-rolling uh, athletics now. But you do have to roll the dexterity save as this one also begins to tumble. Still disadvantage, right? Disadvantage. You grab onto the step. Um, the three of you over here see Sulamin um, just kind of like tile hopping with one hand as him and Ash dangle uh, above the void. Richter, you can't even see this. You don't know what's happening. They're around the corner. <laughs> So, like, is anybody going to help him up, or? Yeah, if they're still fucking struggling, uh, Phoenix will grab and pull. Yeah. Um, Phoenix uh, gets a hold of you, uh, Sulamin, and starts to pull you up. Uh, you can have uh, athletics at advantage, Phoenix. His one hand still has the uh, dwarf on it. Yeah. Uh, God bless advantage. You managed to haul Sulamine and Ash up onto the platform. And I will black out the ones that are gone now. Sweats nervously. Uh, Phoenix will move everyone, like usher everyone away from the corners. Richter, the stones uh, in front of you, um, with how weak this is, they all start to shift. And you guys watch as the rest of this begins to fall. As as Richter was watching this, he was kind of paying attention. He was planning on uh, taking a misty step forward. Um, he's going to call out to the group and be like, I'm going to need some help as he takes a step forward and misty steps as he does it. like He kind of jumps and as he moves into that space, misty steps out of it. Okay, so you end up arriving right at the edge of the void. Yeah, and I got my arms he held out because I was kind of anticipating this, uh, seeing things falling. Richter appears about five feet above where the tiles were, and he begins to fall. Who's going to try to catch him? I'll try to catch him. Athletics Phoenix will also try. At advantage. Oh my god, that was so close. <laughs> You're lucky he's fucking light. Uh, you guys uh, both grab onto Richter and yank him forward uh, as Richter. You, you spill onto the ground um, on solid ground. Oh, thank you. I don't think we're going to be going back that way. Hope there's something ahead of us. You know what? Uh, crap. I'm... Uh... I'm I'm going to be a little benevolent and say Wabu was never on that tile. <laughs> he was over here, maybe, because <laughs> there's a black spot there, Wabu. But uh, I, I, I'm going to do you a solid. I think you probably would have seen it. 
Well, I did. I said when we got in here that uh, I ushered everyone away from the corners. But before you lies a hallway that bends to the left. Sorry, Savage. All the tiles on my screen look normal. That one there is, uh, it's got a black spot on it right in the corner. That one there and that one there. You might have to, if you zoom in, you might be able to see it. It's just like slightly darker. Is that what it is? No, they're black. They're, there's nothing there. Hold on. Let me move Ash out of the way so you guys can X there. So without or Ash's aura, like the black corners. Yeah, sorry. They just look normal to me. Maybe it's a graphical glitch. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I won't step there. But yeah, uh, ahead of you lies a tunnel that goes north and bends to the west. Keep searching for traps. And can you clarify, is this a dark spot here? Uh, it is not. It, I, it's just dark stone. Also, okay. uh, Richter is going to walk uh, close to Sulamine, looking for arcane traps after that last sigil got us. Sure. And my computer is like chugging right now so i'm doing my best to keep up but I, oh I even your discord is getting a little choppy might be time for that new pc bro you might be able to do uh, tarkov with us finally on this next wipe <laughs> yeah my computer is really going down mother scratcher uh by the way just for future reference does anybody have true sight not i Around that corner, you see what looks to be a dead end. I'm going to search it. I would like you to pushing, tell me how you search it. Pushing, pulling, prodding, twisting, turning, uh, licking, sticking, poking. Bop it. <laughs> Bopping. That's what I was going to say. Bop it. Well, when you lick it, it tastes uh, like air. You notice your tongue goes through it. But not his hands when he pushed it, just his tongue. Right. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm we're just canically, he licked it first. <laughs> yes, yeah, so as, as you realize that you don't taste dirt, you don't feel anything pressing, um, you decide to put your hand through it. Now, from a mechanics perspective, should I move my character through that wall? Or will that reveal a lot of shit I didn't see? You all watch as Sulamine's hand first disappears into the wall. He looks back at you and just takes a step forward. Vanishes through the wall. I call back out to the party. Come through, it's an illusion. You just have to stick your tongue out first. The end so of the stairs, time. you see uh, a break in the wall. Looks like there might be a door there. Still searching for traps. Uh huh. Me too. Uh -huh. You know, for all this trap searching, we are still getting caught in all the traps. <laughs> yeah, we are. It's not doing shit for good. It's because it's because the every trap you've actually fallen into. That was the point when you didn't say you were looking for traps. All right, I am constantly looking for traps, no matter what. Even when I go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I assume you push the door open after you investigate for traps. Does it push or pull? It pulls. However, I would move back a, a spot first. You do notice some weakened tiles in this corner down here. Got it. I'll point that out to the party and remind them of what happened last time and suggest they stick to the right wall. As you pass through the door, you hear a voice. I 
I don't think that you are supposed to be here. The voice is raspy. An awful lot like an undead creature's. How it kind of rasps it's like it hasn't had a drink in a month. I got something it can drink. As you pass through the next door, everybody stop. You pass through the next door. Well, if you're not going to heed my warning, very well. After them, dogs! You hear strange gurgle-like growling. Sounds like this. But with more of a gurgle to it. Isn't that my ex-husband snoring? <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. Uh, <clears throat> Your husband daddy is now. Bro, I'm fucking dead after that one. <laughs> and with this, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to... Give Every each other a hug. Oh, these puppies going to give you a hug, all right. Everybody can click your tokens and roll your initiative, please. If they sense a bonus to my initiative roll, is that automatic? Uh, what is your dexterity, sir? What? 14. And what is your initiative number? 8. Yeah, it's already there. Your, uh, your initiative would be equal to your dexterity. So if it's any higher, that means there's been some kind of additive to it. And I believe your thing adds your proficiency bonus, which at this level would be a 6. So your dexterity plus proficiency is how you get your 8. Okay, so, wow. Wow, they actually rolled decent initiatives, but you guys kind of fucking blew them all out the water. All right, let me see. So I know their immunities, resistances, and so on, if they have any. Okay. 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 Spoonbreaker. You heard the voice. Though it came from all around you. Um, before we actually get to the combat, I'm going to give you a... Quick. Oh, shit. That illusion wall, there was supposed to be a riddle attached to it. That's a shame. Was oh. the answer licking it? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> there you go. All right, I, I, I just want to give you guys this riddle. Just see if you guys get it. This one is a lot easier easier than the other one. Blue. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is it? My glow is warm, but for warmth, you don't want me. I live and die, but no tear is shed for me. But I'll see you anon when you resurrect me. Any guesses? It doesn't matter. I'm if nobody gets. I'm going to give you the answer anyways. You guys already walked through that wall without, the, without it. <laughs> no. Answer's nope. a candle.
those sleep crowns. Weird, because candles actually give off decent heat if you've got an insulated area. Or a small area. Yeah, in, in this kind of air place, there's no place that is well insulated. Even, cast, sure even castles small. have cracks in the walls and shit. Makes it drafty. Okay. <coughs> Good riddle. Um. So. Gotta, okay. Which room is this? This is 14, right? Yes. All right, so <clears throat> as the low guttle growls before you uh, turn into raspy voices, you hear, I have been here so long. At the behest of my Vecna, my unwavering loyalty has earned me the honor of protecting her favored magic items and books of arcane knowledge. I wonder how long it will be before someone made it here? Without falling prey to a trap? Oh, I did watch several of you burned in that treasure room. <laughs> Oh, it has been so long since I've been able to kill someone. Resetting these traps has become quite tedious, as you can imagine. I will cherish your death throes for another thousand years. Please, come with that to me, ye of lesser blood. Uh, you begin to hear footsteps as the hounds... Sorry, as uh, quick footsteps, much like a hounds, running towards you. You guys can hear them from... Why is not there we go from this direction? Spoonbreaker, you are up first, sir. It's gonna sound like a lot of fun. I would like to prepare a chaos mold. So you're so you are aware if nothing comes within range, it just burns the spell slot. You're aware of that, yes? Like by the end of my turn or by the end of my next turn? Uh by the time your turn comes around. Oh, okay. So, I would like to not do that. Uh, you're, it's just me, or is his mic going all funky? It's going funky. funky. Hello? There you go. Okay. Yeah, I would like to not do that. Uh, I can only move 60 feet... Uh, oh, fuck. Like you've only moved 20, haven't you? Weren't you right here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's five feet each. Yeah. They've only moved 20 feet, so you still got 10 feet of movement, and then you can always use your, um, your bunny hop, or whatever, whatever it's called. You go further if you want. All right. I'm gonna... Yeah, I am going to... Yeah, I'll do one rabbit hop. Sure. All right. Well, that gives you up to another 30 feet of movement. I'm going to hop that way. Uh, That's 25. 25. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't want to be like all up in the front, but I do want to be able to see and have the team see. Okay. Uh, would you like to ready your action now that you're closer? Or do you not want to do that? Yeah, I will. I will ready Chaos Bolt, actually. Okay. 
Sulamin, you heard the voices come from this direction. All the voices or, or the, the dogs or the... All the sounds are coming from that direction. Got it. What's the lighting like in this square right here? Um, well, that is a hearth next to you, so it's it's probably going to be pretty bright. Uh, honestly, a lit hearth? Huh? A lit hearth? Like, yeah, yeah, it's it's glowing really? yellow. It's yeah, it's lit. In a dungeon? Yep. Okay. Like he said, he's been here for like a thousand years. Exactly. I know. I'm just giving you shit. Okay. <laughs> uh, three, four, five. And I will... That's a wall. Uh, oh. Well, then I'll go right there. Uh, right. I will uh, hold an action, and I'll use my bonus action there to try and hide. All right, give me a stealth. Don't have disadvantage. Jesus, that's a plus 20? Yeah. Yeah, you fucking silent as a ghost, my guy. Dormant ghost. And I'm just waiting for something to come around that corner, and I'm going to slam an arrow into it. And it's going to be a plus two arrow. Alrighty. Perfect. Actually, plus three, because I don't have plus two. As the feet slapping the ground, the sound suddenly ceases. You both get off your held actions. As this thing seems to be uh, flying about four feet above the ground now. After you, good sir. Sorry, 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 sorry. Get me! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 26, that is a hit. Hey, and... So, uh, make a ranged spell attack on hit. Choose one of the D8s. So, he rolled a 2-7, so they are psychic damage. Oh, very nice. Uh, that is 29. Spell goes off and slams this creature um, in midair. Um, you see no, uh, like, black acres start to pour out its nose. Uh, the green flames of this strange hound-looking creature, uh, ribs exposed, uh, bones of the ankles exposed, kind of the green light goes out a little bit for a moment as it blinks and shakes its head before looking directly at you. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Still has ten more. You can get your shot off, Sulamine. Okay. Send it. And there should be a plus three in there for the arrow. Huh? And I'm going to re-roll one of the ones. Okay. In the D6. Oh, significantly better. <laughs> 100%. Okay. So, 16 and 13 is 29. And... And 4 is 33. 
Give me a perception. The poison doesn't seem to have any effect. You're still rolling directly to me, by the way. Oh, yes, I am. Sorry about that. No worries. Everyone else can play along, too. <laughs> um, it's going to get to here, and then suddenly it disappears. Oh, uh, roll your... Give me another d20, by the way, because you were hiding, so... Yeah, but I've got the sneak damage in there. Yeah, uh, I just actually, he needs to roll a perception to see if it saw you as he came around the corner. Oh, okay, I got you. Uh, Doesn't that my 40, though? Yeah, he's, he definitely didn't know you were there, so I just want to see if it was a crit. Oh, I got you, okay. It was not a crit. Uh, but it is going to, as your arrow slams into its side, it gives a, Yow! and then... It disappears. Wabu. As you look in, you can definitely see these two squares here are are uh, gone. Gotcha. Uh, five, I'm going to start moving. 5, 10, 15, 20. That's a wall, but you can sneak past Phoenix to the door if you'd like. Oh, yeah. All right, sorry. 20. Um, I can't see anything, so I'm going to try to go inside and then one more over. That's full, full movement. All right. Um, I can't see anything, so I guess I will end my turn and ready a thorn whip just in case. All right. Phoenix, you're up. Uh, well, I'm going to come into the room here. That's 38. I still see nothing. Uh, I'll move up to here and I'm going to hang on I'm just trying to find it all right Uh, and I will uh, keep an attack if anything tries to attack me. I'll punch him in the mouth. Ash! Yes, Ash is going to do something. That's the spirit. But is it going to be something useful? That's the question. Always. Yeah, exactly. Always the question. I'm going to move here. Oh, no, I meant it was always going to be useful. And I'm going to question what the hell was being shot at over here because I see nada. So I'm going to hold an action to stab something if it comes within range. Sure. Oh, and as my, my um bonus action, I will activate my auras and uh, top up the temporary hit points to 15 if needed for uh feet and Spoonbreaker are in my zone. Phoenix and Spoonbreaker. Both you can top up your temp HP to 15. Zash readies her weapon. Ooh. 
Can I get to right there if I run an angle, or is that weird the way it works through the spaces? I think it's one, two, three, four. Like that? Yeah. Uh, you would have to go one, two, three, four, five to get into the doors. That's I a, can only that, go, that's a I wall. Five foot movement speed. Oh. So I I have to go five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Yep. On an angle. No, twenty-five will get you to the door. And can't really see anything, eh? Nope, not as of yet. I'm gonna charge up a firebolt in my hand and hold it to unleash on the first enemy I see. Sure. And it's gonna post up at this doorway. And that's Richter's turn. Ash, give me a perception. Uh, 20, because I don't think I should have had advantage. You saw three of these hound-like creatures down here, and you watched them turn invisible. Or just disappear, anyways. Down where? Down in this corner. I can't... Whatever you're talking about, I can't... Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. Ah, okay. I still can't see that far, but that's okay. Okay. I think the creepy dog things are now invisible. I will tell the party. Oh, I didn't put light around this place. On a sec. Should be lights. I think I made this map before that was even a possibility. An OG map. Or is that better? Yes, I can see further now. If you asked me if I was having fun on this map, I would tell you no. But it is fun in the sense of there's a lot going on. I'm confused by that statement, but that's okay. Yeah, me too. I put a lot of work into this map. <laughs> yeah, a lot of work to make me sad. The threat of death is the fun. It's fun, and it's not fun. I don't want to die. Nobody wants to die. That's the fun. Boombreaker doesn't deserve this. Ooh. Punishment for your uh, your sinful acts of defiling your gold coins in the past. All right, this creature. Let's see, what does he have? Got some interesting stuff. I was gonna say, based on where we're standing, consent the coins didn't object. Oh, wow. I definitely made this thing a while ago. I don't even know half these spells he's got.
Oh, that's cool. All right. And what's his speed? All right, he's going to get to here. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> All right, so he's going to use a spell. Conjure Spectral Allies. So, Ooh. for you, cause you see him sprinkle some graveyard dirt in front of him, and he starts <laughs> to, to speak <clears throat> words of power. Phoenix, you can't see him. Fair. The only person that can see him right now is actually Ash. But it's an AoE spell. Uh, 30 foot radius sphere. Cool. Let's draw that out real quick. Wait, can you actually see that? Phoenix, you might be able to see him now. Oh, yeah. Everybody except Sulamine and Richter needs to make, whoops, needs to make me a wisdom saving throw. And I still don't see anything, right? Uh, no. Twenty. I like to use my lucky feet. Sure. You needed a wow. wisdom too, right? Uh, yeah. Everybody except for Richter and Sulamine. It won't let me. Wow. Okay. I guess I got to roll it out manually. Awesome. So we have. Wabu rolls a 26 after Lucky. That is a success. Ash, you fail. Phoenix, nice. Jesus. Roll. Spoonbreaker, you fail. Uh, the rest of you succeed. So... Can I use my Lucky to re-roll? Yep. That's a yeah. nope. <laughs> okay. 39 necrotic damage, and those of you who failed are frightened for one minute. Uh, success, you take half the damage. So, Wabu and Phoenix. Actually, Phoenix, you got something that means you don't have to make take any damage, don't you? Or is that just on dexterity? <laughs> Sorry, that's just on dex. Okay, so you guys will take half of that, which is 19. Uh, those of you who failed, you are now frightened. If you need to know the fright condition, I can paste it for you. Yes, So for one turn, right? For one minute. 
Uh, you can end this effect. Uh, creature line of sight, right? Creature makes half as much damage for uh, right now at the end of each of its turns. A creature frightened by the spell can make another saving throw. On a su success, the spell ends. <clears throat> okay, cool. And what's the save? Uh, it's 20. But that's cool. at the end of your turn. Oh, at the end of my turn. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. What would you like to do, Spoonbreaker? Fucking look cute, I guess. You're doing uh, a great job. If I break line of sight... You break line of sight, you're not going to be able to target him with a spell unless you use an AoE and that doesn't target specifically him. Such right, as right, Fireball right. or something, right? Right, <laughs> but... It, that means I'm not frightened if I if he doesn't have line of sight or if you do not if you're not able to have line of sight of him. So right now, I do a measure. I don't think you do. Right now, you do not have line of sight. You can go about one space forward without causing the frighten to stop you. Fuck yeah! All right, and then I'll. I... You know what? I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send the fireball. All right. Deck save it is. Uh, send it. Damn, bro. <laughs> that hurts for a higher cast. Yike. What's as? Going to succeed on that, so he's only going to take twelve. Oh, sorry, he's actually got to roll it first. I don't think you make it anyway. Yep. Okay. Fucking lich. Do you have uh, anything else? Bonus action or movement? Uh, no, I think I'm vibing for right now. Actually, I'm going to drink a... Nah, we're vibing. Hey, Sulamine. So I'd have seen this fireball go down range, right? Yeah, you definitely did. Cool, so I'm going to use my cunning action to sprint. Or dash. And then I'm going to fire at him using a flaming Shit. arrow. I'm sorry, uh I fucked up. I fucked up because there's supposed to be a fucking door there, and apparently you guys can see right into the motherfucking room. Sorry, that there's supposed to be a wall there. That's I cool. Apologies. Not on that part, but I'm with you. That works. Um, so I will start shooting. Okay. And I'm gonna use. Huh. So cunning action and bonus action are the same, right? Uh, cunning action is how you turn something that would normally be an action into a bonus action, but there's only certain things you can do, like stealth, um, dodge action, disengage, I believe. Got it. So I couldn't do cunning action and bonus action, correct? Correct. Got it. Okay, then I'll just shoot naturally. Uh -huh. Okay.
Uh, yeah, those are both hits. And is action surge a bonus action? Uh, action surge just it, it's it's a free action. Uh, okay. As long as you got an action surge, you can just pop it and then do more action. I'm gonna use my action surge and fire twice more. All right. And those are all flaming arrows. I think it ought to be an extra 46, if you tell me. Uh, yeah. All right, so let's see. Damn, <laughs> damn, damn. Don't, damn. Don't you get another attack, too? This is your first round of combat, isn't it? No, this is my second round of combat. Oh, yeah, that's right. You get an attack on the first. Fuck. All right, so let's see. Piercing is 18 plus 17 equals 35. 35. All right, let's do it this way. 66 piercing. All right. And then we got seven fire. And then we've got... Uh, the poison does not seem to affect him, much like it did the hounds. However, the acid does. Two, four, five, five and seven is uh, 12. Yeah. Okay. Is that um, it for you there, or you got uh, more? Uh, action economy, I'm tapped out, that's me. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be fun. <clears throat> All right, so... Before Wabu goes, or something in a turn order you can't see because they went invisible. And that should have been at advantage. Oh, wow. Should have rolled advantage from the start. 14 is going to miss, correct, uh, Spoonbreaker? That is correct. Okay. Can I hit him? Were you holding an action? Yeah. Then yes. As it uh, pops out growls as it tries to bite Spoonbreaker. Spoonbreaker shifts his light to the side just as Phoenix uh, spins and hoofs this thing in the side. Do you have advantage? Good looks. I do not. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's hit anyways. Uh, da -da -da. And for the first time, it seems that your attacks today are doing full damage, Phoenix. Uh, it's just out of curiosity, that's a saved attack, so it doesn't count as a reaction, right? That is exactly what it counts as. Saving, oh, okay. yeah, so it, it takes your action to hold your action, but to release it takes your reaction. Okay, never mind then. Yeah, sorry, that's the, that's the raw rule on that one. I was going to throw a sentinel shot at him too, but never mind. Wabu, you are up, sir. <laughs> Wabu is silent. Sorry, I was I was speaking to a muted mic. I, um, I figured you were. I I can't see any uh, enemies minus the one guy in front of me. Correct. Um, who looks the most hurt out of the party right now? Mm. 
Suamine looks like he's bleeding from a few spots. Okay. Alright, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to Unicorn Totem uh, around the group, like here. And then I'm going to hit Suamine with a heal spell after that. Should have it in your compen or in your journal, shouldn't you? Uh, the, uh, yeah, you I'm, got totem. Looking, Thunder friendly creatures and pets. Okay, that's where we put it. Friendly creatures and pets. Oh yeah, it looks weird now. Yeah. Oh, there it looks proper on the thing. Okay. Ha. Yeah, because um, believe... what's it? What it shows uh, for the image in the compendium is it's um, it's main image but it but it does but it has a token attached to it so i would have to put that image in both for it to actually sit there it's not big deal yeah that's fine um yeah so 74 sulamine and then everybody else gets my level and healing which is 17 so everybody gets else gets 17 hp damn thanks so i believe that's your Level six, seven, and eight spells expended. Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Still got my ninth. Damn it. <laughs> so the temporary HP, I can't put that back on, right? Once nope. it's expended, it's gone. Yeah. Uh, bonus. Oh, I guess bonus action was pulling out. Yeah, yeah, I'm all, I'm all tapped out. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm done, Zode. Phoenix, you're good. What's up? What are you doing? I'm gonna hit the fucko here beside me. All right, full send it. Uh, you know what? Let me. Yeah. You might want to hold off on the flurry of blows. You want to describe what happens to him after your second attack? Uh, yeah. Phoenix <laughs> just pulls up and just double side kicks him quick, quick time right in the head. You hear a, a, a raspy yelp as it uh, falls to the ground from four feet in the air. And then. I will 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm going to charge this guy and then use those flurry of blows. Sure. Those are hits. And that is a total of. He doesn't resist any of those. He does not. Okay. Um, Savage, quick question. How does one attempt to look for an invisible creature? Like, not through magic. Um, normally it would be a perception, and it uh, it would rely on your hearing. Um, however, this one, they don't just go invisible. They actually transfer to a different plane. Okay, yeah. The only reason I was asking is, is Unicorn Totem gives you advantage on all ability checks trying to find something that's invisible. So I don't... I didn't know there was a way to just try to perceive it. Uh, yeah, there there is. Um, but it's... If you've got a spell that can let you see them then you'll just be able to see them. However, if they are just simply invisible, um, but they're running on the ground and, and like they're moving around, you might be able to hear them when, they, when they're when they moving. Got it, got it. But obviously not when they're not in this existence because they're not here. Exactly. They are actually on... Uh, so player knowledge, when they disappear, they go to the eth ethereal plane. So they they can still move while they're invisible, and it looks just like this place, but it's not the same as like using just an invisibility spell. Because <clears throat> when they're they're invisible, they're still on this plane, and you still have the ability to hit them. But when they're on the ethereal plane, it's different. 
Uh, yes, six. Jesus Christ, Phoenix. <laughs> The 69 in just the last two hits? Yep. God damn. Yep. You uh you pummel this creature a couple times with your fur fury of blows. With your <laughs> furry of blows. Um You hit him square in the solar plex, which normally you'd hear an exhale of breath being knocked out of something. Instead you just hear some bones cracking and some skin breaking. Uh before you turn around and clock him on the side of the jaw. Got anything else? Nope. Ash. Uh, Ash is still feared, so she can't go towards him, right? Correct. Okay, so... I'm going to go this way, stand next to Wabu, and um, as a bonus action, I'm going to refresh everybody in the circles, including a very small piece of, I think that's, is that Richter or is that Suleen in the corner? Um. That is Richter uh, there. Richter, yeah, with uh, the 15 temporary hit points if you need a um, refresher on that. Polo? For how to find invisible creatures. Oh, that's funny. Um, and then... Uh, because line of sight has been broken, I guess I'm not under the fear effect anymore. Um, I mean, you will be when you get, like, you still can't move closer to him. Yeah, but for the, at the end of this turn, right? Did you roll the save? Uh, I would like to roll a save if I need to. Yeah, at the end of your turn, you can re-roll the save. Okay, Speaking of so which, Spoonbreaker, did you roll the save? Oh, at the end of my turn, I did not roll for it. And it was wisdom, right? Uh, it was... Uh, wisdom saving throw. Yes, wisdom. Ash, you are no longer feared. Spoonbreaker, hey. you are still feared. Who? Oh, that's right. Yeah. You shouldn't have been able to move any closer. Wait. Ash, you were here, were you not? I was right here. Okay. Yeah, you move. Wait, hold on a sec. No, I don't think you can move in that that direction. Uh yeah, okay. I'll allow it. And Wabu, is that aura correct? Is it 60 feet for your totem? Uh, I can't see an aura right now. Uh, but it... Sh yeah, but it should be a 30-foot radius. Okay. Oh, yeah, wait. I don't see okay, an aura, then. though, if there is one. Uh, you yeah. should be able to see it now. I've turned it to see. Uh, yeah, I knew. It's yellow. I... Zoom out to see where the edge is. There, that oh, that's proper there. size. Yeah, now I can see it. Okay, it was just covering my entire screen. Yep. <laughs> Is yep, that it for you, Ash? It. That is it for me. Okay, we got. All right. This 
one uh, pops into existence as it goes for a bite at Wabu. Does a 23 hit you, sir? Yep, yep. You take 20 piercing dam damage as it kind of leaps onto your back and tries to take a chunk out of the back of your head. I need a strength save, please. You are knocked prone as this creature lands atop you. Sorry, lucky feet. Okay. That did not help. It did not. Rector. Oh, fuck me. After... I forgot. To, I keep forgetting this thing has legendary actions. After uh, the creature attacks Wabu, uh, Phoenix... Yeah. Wisdom save, please. I'm sure you're going to pass this, but I got to try anyways. Fear me, he says. For a moment, it, it feels like it's going to take hold, but then you kind of shake your head. And... You're not afraid of him. Oh, no thanks. Not today. Huh? He kind of screws up his face confused. Richter, it's your turn. That thing popped back out of you? No, it's on top of Wabu. Okay, I'm going to throw a fire bolt at the thing. Sure. Oh, and I should be rolling... Hold on, a little bit extra. A firebolt. Hey. 21 to hit. 16 and 13 is 29. Right, I'm moving you for a second, Wabu. This creature uh, is on your back, Wabu. Um, you hear it yelp as a firebolt slams into its side. Anything else, Richter? Mm, how are people looking? Is anyone looking on the brick of death? That I can see? Mm. I'm back. Phoenix looks fantastic. Ah, uh, Richter can't see Phoenix anyways. Nobody's looking overly bad. Uh, out of everybody, Wabu is looking the worst. He's bleeding from the back of his head. <laughs> hmm. Okay, yeah, that's all I'm going to do for now. I'm just going to keep an eye on what's going on with Wabu there. Okay, we have... Uh, at the end of your turn. No, that's the wrong one. I was thinking of Bless. He's not using that. Uh, he is going to use... Phoenix! <laughs> Dex save. <laughs> oh, that's so silly. Yeah, no. Uh, he's like, fine, if you will not fear me, then burn. And as uh, the flames kind of like lick up your skin, you just kind of like look at both sides and shrug it off. And they dissip dissipate. No, we won't be having any of that either. What the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, 
All right, this one is going to pop back into existence over here since Wabu has been the one healing people. They're all going to go after him. They all pop into existence at once as they go to take bites from you. We have a 31 to hit, a 21 to hit, and a 28. Does the action that I was Those doing all hit. work? Anything, 21 or higher. You had a uh, action held, Ash? Yeah. Or, or what? If I came in range, just so I can stab it. I mean, there's one on top of Wabu for the last five minutes. I couldn't see it. He was on top of it. Like there was no... Oh. Well, yeah, but I, I said it, it popped into existence and attacked Wabu. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's fine. Keep going. No, make your, make your attack. I'm not always going to remember if somebody held their action, so if, if, if you know, Sorry. by all means, say something and we can get it done there. Uh, 27, yeah. that is a hit. The one, I guess, north of me. Well, the one that popped up into existence, if you're holding your action, would be the one on Wabu's back. There we go. The one on Wabu's back. There he is. I see him now. Uh, Let's see. So you hit him for... That is 25. Yeah, you want you probably would have hit him about the same time that Richter sent his firebolt at him. Uh so Wabu, you take sixteen from the first attack, ten from the next, and twenty-four from the third attack. For a grand total of fifty damage. And he can't do another legendary action because he is out for the moment. Oh, no, he's not. He's got five of them. Okay. Here's what he's going to do to you, sir. Really? Fucking really? Apparently, he's just going to swing and miss. He swings down, and you just kind of, like, sidestep. So slowly to you, but quickly for him. And his staff just uh, hits the ground. That's sad. Spoonbreaker. Phoenix is like, well, you're going to have to be quicker than that. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't actually take his turn. That was just his uh, legendary action. So uh, he does get one more attack for legendary action. No, he doesn't. That was five legendary actions. Okay, so he doesn't get that, but he gets his turn. Uh, he is going to try to... He has spells. Oh. <clears throat> Phoenix, I need a constitution saving throw. Uh, his spell save, I don't know why it says 17, it's 20. So you fail. You are blind. It is. With you blind, he begins to move. You can get an attack of opportunity at disadvantage if you wish. Uh, he can't move. Why is that? Let's 
So by the time he gets out of range, would mean right there. Sorry, right there. Yeah, that would be when you hit him as he's leaving that spot. Okay. He is no speed. Very well. Spoonbreaker, it is your turn. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, wait, that's when it comes... Uh, when you hit it, Yeah, when you hit a creature with an opportunity attack. That's right. No, uh, up to you if I can use this or not, because I kind of... It's late, but I got this. So I can try to re-roll that con save. Alrighty. Roll away. Yeah, I'll take that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he still tried to move. Um, unfortunately, that didn't work. Um, but... Does he have bonus actions? I don't think he does. Nope, no bonus action. Spoonbreaker, you're up. Yeah, so I, I already moved a few spaces, but... Uh, Take you cannot thing. move that way. That's getting closer to him. You move there if you is like. This, is this still considered line of sight? Uh, no, it doesn't matter. The 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 fact of moving closer is the issue. Okay, yeah, yeah, but I... so I'm going to to cast chain lightning on these dogs or things. Yeah. So <clears throat> what what you're asking about is. A frightened creature has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of, of its fear is within line of sight. So you still can't move closer. You just, being out of his line of sight, you don't have disadvantage on your attacks. So. Yeah, which I uh, which is I, what I'm trying to avoid. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you, you still can't move south, though, my guy. Right. So, am I in line of sight? Okay. Chain lightning on the hounds? Yep. Okay. Deck save. DC is damn 24. Fail, fail, fail. So 43. Um, sir. We have an issue in your sheet. Something is not rolling a d6, it's just rolling six. Uh, the heart of the storm. Yeah, so re-roll that for me when you fix it, please, sir. Is that because it's like lightning damage or something? Uh, it's one of his uh, class abilities. 
Um, but it's okay. supposed to. Oh wait, no, you he might be right. That might be equal to your. I know some mages. Some mages also have um, like if it's lightning, it's maxed. I don't know how how it's set up, but I I know it's a thing. Heart of the storm. Where's your heart of the storm in your sheet? Oh, equal to half your sorcerer, sorcerer level. So it should actually be more than six. It should be uh, half your sorcerer level rounded which way. It doesn't say. Uh, always up. Not always, no. Always up. <laughs> uh, this time, yes. Um, it doesn't say which way to round it, so we're going to round it up. So that is going to be... Eight. So change that instead of a six, it should be eight. Forty three, fifty three, and eight is sixty one. God damn. And it hits one, and then so a total of four. Are they dead, though? No. One of them's close, though. The one on Wabu's back is very, very close. Um, yeah. Got anything else? No, not really. That'll be that'll be it for for Spoonie. All right. At the end of your turn, his legendary actions have re-upped, so he is going to make uh, an attack against uh, our boy Phoenix. Thirty-one to hit. No. Bullshit. <laughs> 13 yeah, bludgeoning and 9 necrotic. I need a wisdom save, please. No, thank you. I fucking hate monks. Absolutely fucking hate monks. They're immune to everything. It's ridiculous. Sulamine, it's your turn. Phoenix will look at the lich and kind of glaze his eyes and go, what is thy bidding, master? Oh, roll me a deception. Nice, nice. All right, he's going to do a performance. Would you like to do an insight against his performance? <laughs> Holy shit. All right, so uh, as your eyes glaze over and you ask well, what his instructions are, he says, hmm, a weird way for that to work, but suck my dick. Phoenix will just kind of smile and shrug and go, nah, you got me. I'm not charmed. Better luck next time, Chief. Sulamine, you're up. I'm going to move five feet northwest and with my free action try to open the door. Uh, it's a wall. Oh, it's a wall northeast? Yes. Ah, uh, well, shit. Okay. Yeah, if you zoom in, there's there's stone there. 
Uh, I I swear I had made a fucking uh, a wall there, but apparently it didn't fucking work. Yeah, so it's all good. It is a it is a uh, wall, sir. So I will two, three, four, five, and then I will fire twice at the doggy thing on Wabu's back to try and get him free. Um, they it will have half cover, but I don't think it's gonna matter. Their AC is not very high. Oh yeah, not not even close to mattering. What the fuck? And those are just regular. So the first one uh hits it and sends it careening, slamming into the wall. And it dies. Doesn't even have time to get a yelp out. I'll aim the second round at the one to the northwest of Wabu then. Okay. And that is a fat fucking crit, which no poison, but uh four acid and twenty five, so that's twenty nine. Yep. Okay. And then I'm going to use my cunning action to dash over to this door. And since I couldn't use a free action on the wall, I'm going to try and open this door. Sure. Does it open? Yeah, as soon as I can get the fucking thing to move. Oh, okay. My bad. Wasn't trying to catch you. Yeah, uh, you swing the door open um, outwards. And inside you notice uh, very dusty cobwebs cover this entire area bookshelves line the walls in the center you see uh shelving units and from your angle you can just catch a desk in the middle here with a chair i'll step through the door and that will end my turn end of your turn lich is gonna Use another legendary action to fucking bonk. Oh. Okay. Um, Phoenix. That's still of mine. That is an action, sir. I still need you to make that save. Oh, shit. Okay. And he is not actually going to, if you fail it, he is not going to say suck his dick, by the way. Oh, good. He's going to tell you to kill the one in uh, he's going to tell you to kill the rabbit. It's always me. You're closer. You can't help yourself. Hey, man. Hey, man. You walked. You you decided not to get out of the way of the gelatinous cube on that one. I mean, it's it's whoever's closer. It's all about they're they're smart. They know what they're doing. And if there's a chance that somebody can break free of a charm, he's gonna send the one he has charmed after. You know, I the, get the closest it. one, I right? I get it. I get it. I get it. Come fuck me, Phoenix. <laughs> uh, he is going to use his legendary action to cast 60 feet. Oh, I forgot the wisdom roll, by the way. Oh, at the end of your turn? Yeah, sorry. It's all good. Keep going. Failed anyways. Uh, he actually can't do anything because he's not going to um, hit the one he's got charmed, and he can't see anybody else, and his movement speed is zero. So, Lich Hound turn. Oh, that Lich Hound is dead. Cool. Okay, Wabu, you're up. 
Sure thing. Um, I just wanted to time check for everybody. We're yeah, almost that's... done. I, 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 if it's possible, I'd like to just finish this up. Is that... it gonna be quick? Probably, yeah. Well, I think it, I'm like... pretty sure it'll be over by the end of this round. Okay, that's fine then. Um, am I? I is something still on top of me? No. Sulamine okay. knocked it off and sent it against a wall. I will. I will stand up, and then I am going to hit myself with just a level one healing word as a bonus action. Okay. Uh, whoops, not that way. Um, everyone in my radius will get seventeen health. And does your totem have HP, by the way, or is it just like ethereal? Ethereal. Okay. Just checking to um, see if the Lich Hounds were going to go after it or not. Yeah, no, they, they can't affect it. Um, And then I will, because I can't really step away, I'm going to shillelagh the closest one. All right. That happens with my staff swing. Uh, North or south? Uh, North. All right, give me a damage. And that's my turn. That hound is looking very, very hurt. They're all looking pretty hurt, but that one is on the edge. And your turn, he's not going to do anything. So, Phoenix, you wish to use your action to end your thing, you may? Yeah. All right. Well, that is your action. What's your bonus action? I run around back in front of him. Like, hey, where are you off to? We're having a lovely chat. And then I'm um, in a bonus action. Fluria blows him. Don't you have to make an attack to be able to do that? Mm, hang on. Where the fuck did it go? I just had it. It got deleted. You don't have it anymore. Oh, yeah, I do have to use attack. Okay. So anything else? Uh, I'll... Okay. End of your turn. He's not going to do anything because nobody else within sight range. Ash. I'm going to hit it, the dog thing with my um, mate. Which one? There's three of them. Uh, the one north of me first. Okay. Before to hit. Yeah. It's still up. 19 bludgeon and 8 radiant. I'm going to hit it again. 21 to hit. Uh, It's still up, but barely. 19 bludgeoning and 7 radiant. Um, uh, as a bonus action, I'm going to activate my um, auras again, just in case anybody needs that uh, 15 temporary hit points back up. And I need a strength save check from him, please. Mm, fail. He cannot move until the end of my next turn. All right. And that's it for me. Richter. Richter's going to throw a fire bolt again. All right. At which one? Uh, is that one still on Wabu? No. Got thrown into a wall when she only finished it with an arrow shot.
it would be the one closest to me. Dead. And that's all I can do right now. Uh, first one is going to bite at Wabu. And then he's going to use his bonus action to do a gut rip. Uh, Wabu, what's your AC? 21. Okay, uh, he is not going to do a gut rip because it has to be a prone one. So, that's a miss. One is going to attack Ash. Ash, AC? I do have an AC, yes. Yeah, 21. That's a miss. Herophant Lich moves forward to here without leaving your range and javelins a poison streak from your hand to four different points you can see within range which is a mile so and 40 foot radius spheres of poison and slashing okay I have had enough of this. And he draws out. Forty feet of poison. Damn it. Can somebody give me a uh, 40? Never mind, I'll do it. So, and he sends out, what, four of them? So, I'm just going to do it this way. It's going to cover the entire room. Um, So, everybody needs to make me... Uh, Dexterity saving throws, please. Does my dodge have anything to do with this, or is that only for melee attacks? I'm going to use my luck. I uh, believe dodge only has to do with, like, actual attacks. This is a uh, an area of effect. Okay. Okay. So, uh, the DC is 20. Uh, Wabu, you pass. Richter fails. Spoonbreaker passes. Ash fails. I'm re-rolling. It's my last luck. Okay. Yay, 20. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a level 9 spell. Ash, you save...
So it looks like everybody saved, I think, except for Spoonbreaker and Richter. Is that correct? Spoonbreaker saved. Yeah, that got a 20. Have. Looks like it's just Richter. Oh, I was looking at Phoenix. Oh, never mind. He re rolled. You want it to be me, bro. <laughs> uh, all right. So, Richter, you take the full damage. Everybody else takes half. What? Um, I will take yeah. one. Thank you. What? Richter, what did you say? <laughs> yep. I can't understand you, bro. Your mic is fucking up he, so bad. He said yep. Oh, okay. All right, uh, and is it concentration or is it just, uh, your spreads around corners, creature take 20 D6 poison damage and 20 slashing on a failed save, half as much on a successful creature in the area of more than one, um, poisonous reluge is affected only once, spell leaves objects in the area poisoned and untouchable, including any items being worn or carried, all creatures affected by the spell are poisoned for one round per point of poison damage taken. All items remain poisonous for one day or until washed clean. Okay. What if you're immune to poison? Oh, my God. That's right. Some then how are. much damage do we take? All right. Well, the first 20 D6 would be poison. The second would be slashing. I should have done those separately. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 16. Oh, there it is. Uh, so let me do it this way. That is the slashing damage. Uh, so you take half of that if you succeeded. If you are immune to poison. He's Does going to... Um... We dodge out of the way. Certain area effects such as Red Dragon's Fire Breath or Ice... Object to the effect that allows you make a deck save, and it was a deck save, so yeah, you take no damage. <clears throat> okay. Alright, I figure this is going to be over before we even get to Wabu's turn. Um, Phoenix, you can make uh, an attack of opportunity, I believe, if you wish, because he's going to continue moving. He will not be moving. No, now. Where are you off to? Spoonbreaker? Uh, Spoonbreaker is going to send a chromatic orb. All right, it is at disadvantage because uh, you are frightened, sir. So roll, roll it one more time. And who are you sending it at? Big boy. Okay. Roll me another d20. And so 23, that is a hit. That is 22 and 9 is 31. Uh, he's looking very, very bad. Got anything else? Bonus action? Um, no. Sulamin? I'm going to move east. Two, three, four. That should give me line of sight on him. Yeah. And I'm going to fire twice as soon as my screen loads. 
And because he is standing next to a functional ally. Yep, you get your snake. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's going to be enough. Give me a sec. Let me check. Yeah, you want to describe it? Well, Phoenix is just slapping this guy around like a little rag doll. Suleiman takes advantage of the distraction, slides out around the wall, and drops an arrow into the back of his head. Mummy drops straight to the ground like a sack of potatoes, or whatever he is. Indeed he does. And as that happens, the last two Lich Hounds fall to the ground dead. And that is it for combat. Uh, we are going to end there for the night. It is quite late. Um, just a heads up. Your sheets might look a little different next time you come back. Because I'm probably going to spend the next four hours adding shit to your sheets. Because you are going to find your artifacts down here. Um, but we will role play through that. We will we'll role play through that on the next session. So uh, I'm out for the stream. Uh, if anybody needs to bounce right now. I appreciate you guys coming. Uh, you take her easy. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Yeah, I got a nice. Uh, are, 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 are we in for tomorrow? Uh, those of you uh, who play Mondays. Yeah, yep. Yep. Should be good. Should be good. Yep. Yep. All right. Cool. I'll be back in a minute. If you guys got a bounce, go ahead. Thanks for coming. Oh. <sighs> Well, thank you everybody for coming. Uh, that was kind of a grueling dungeon, but they finally made their way through it. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I expected at least one of them to die in it, but luckily they didn't. They did get some nice crits, and they were smart, used their their abilities and their inspiration points and and stuff like that. So, uh, anybody who joined me tonight, Snow Bubble, and apparently I had a bot in here at some point. Uh, <laughs> but thank you guys for coming and. Uh, I have 7 p.m. tomorrow. We are running some more Halo with uh, five of the six people out of this game. So uh, definitely stop in for that. And we will see you all soon.